Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hello, welcome to Big Rig Frost again. How's everybody doing out there? Welcome to the show. Happy Thursday. We're back here on the uh, old school American farming series. And there's me. I got my cowboy hat on. It's the month of June. You know what happens in the month of June? French fries go in demand. We're about to become super rich. So, uh, yeah. We're going to head over to the warehouse and bring in the big bucks. We got multiple loads. I've already preloaded three trailers. We got a flatbed, a flatbed straight truck, and then a 53-foot van all filled with french fries. And there's still more left in the warehouse. Uh, more loads to deliver. So, yeah, we're going to be rich here soon. Uh, we're sitting at 32 grand, and it's 8 a.m. in the morning. Cows just got done uh, getting milked in the parlor there. They're starting to produce a little more milk. But uh, still a bunch of babies, a bunch of calves in there, but they'll, they'll grow up. They'll grow up. Share the, share the joy with mother. She's the only one pumping out milk at the moment, so... Uh, Uncle Billy invested in two big frack tanks. I think they're about 20 grand each. So now we have a way to get a ton of the slurry buildup put into storage containers that we can put out into the fields that are a little further away from the house. So we got one there. I think Farmer Billy is putting some new tires. Yeah, he put some new wheels on the uh, frack tanks. That's why they're sitting in the shop here. Yep, looks like he already got the new wheels put on. So all we got to do is get them uh, sent out to the field and filled up with slurry at some point tonight. But uh, I think he's just tightening the, the bolts and all that good stuff. So uh, nuts, my bad, nuts. All right, so we're going to head over to the house. We are going to be doing a little bit of harvesting tonight. We got a big old field of barley here, about six acres of fresh barley. And it should provide around 48,000 liters of barley for us, which is awesome. We need the straw badly. That'll also be food for our chickens, straw for bedding, and straw for uh, a TMR mixture which we need desperately. We are completely out of straw on our farm. Um, but yeah, everything else is looking good, mate. So we're just gonna get to it here. I think all my vehicles are taken. So we're gonna take a little joyride in the, uh, the Honda. We'll take this over to the warehouse. <laughs> uh, what's going on, Mouse M, Mac Morrison? Uh, we got Joe Coleman. Kevin Wilson, Rhett Acres, Matt Lane, Pleasant View. Those cows do eat a lot. You're not kidding. Uh, you'll still be a poor by the end of the stream, says Scooter's Workbench. We'll see about that. You're right, because we're going to buy that New Holland uh, bale picker upper. That little one. Or, it's a big one, but you know what I mean. Yeah, so that's going to that's gonna put a big dent in our wallet. Uh, if you look out to this field, it was ready to cut, so already got the field cut. And we'll be picking up the remaining hay on that field. All that hay is going to go into our feed mixer for our cows. Because there's still a good amount of bales left for uh, Farmer Billy's cows. So that'll all go into our feed mixer. But all our crops are looking beautiful. Our sunflowers growing. There's our pretty sunflower field. Look at that. Just a sprouting up, pointing at the sun. The sun's way up there, and all the sunflowers are pointing straight at the sun. All right, we also have a big oat field over here that's almost ready to harvest. It's looking very nice. Look at that, fresh. Up, up to my shoulders. And then over here is our sorghum field, which is coming right along as well. Looking beautiful and fresh. No weeds in any of my fields. They're all weed-free and fresh and delicious. 
I should make this into like a little dirt path in between the fields. Wouldn't that be nice? I should. Get rid of all these bushes and put like a nice little dirt path. I'd look a lot nicer. Uh, what's up, Brian? Waylon Timlick, Kevin Flores. We got Bradley Simmons dropping the first super chat of the evening with the $2 super chat. That's Bradley Simmons. Hello there, sir. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Mia Lazzarine says, I love your hat, Frosty. It's a uh, Alice Chalmers hat. It's like a NASCAR series hat or something. I like it. It's uh, one of the ones that Mr. and Miss Fireslaying sent me as a gift. All right, so yeah, these are like up to my belly button. That's good. They're growing. Four more months and this will be ready to harvest. It's about halfway there. Looking at a 96% yield and certain, you know, each area is a little different where you walk. This depends on the, uh, the precision farming, the, the way the soil is. That's a neighbor's field. That's not ours. Maybe someday we can afford it. Right now we don't have enough money to buy any fields. Uh, over here is our corn field that Miss Sturdy planted. She planted that last night. And that's also, well, that's about up to my forehead there. So the corns are growing, about four more months on the corn. It's about six acres. That'll be a base food for our pigs. And maybe a little of it will go to the uh, popcorn facility. And then that yellow stuff out in the distance, that is our canola field. And then beyond that is a big old wheat field. So we got lots of crops growing great. The only thing we'll be harvesting tonight is that barley field I showed you. Uh, what's up, Josh Bear 567 Nathan Vincent's in the house. Do and Baker, how's Do and doing today? You doing all right? Polecat, Joe Boyer wants a hunk of tutor. There you go. Hi, Frosty. Carter and I are watching. Just got done fixing trailer and getting mower loaded up for tomorrow. Nice. Well, enjoy the show. We probably shouldn't be on the main road. We don't have plates on this thing. But we're farmers. I mean, what's the cop going to do, you know? I don't think a cop will pull over a hard-working farmer with a Silverado t-shirt. I mean, come on. Huh? Look like Tim McGraw right there. You don't mess with a guy looking like that. That's a guy on a mission to sell french fries. Uh, the real Uncle Billy says, love me some popcorn. The real Uncle Billy's in the house. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing great, Duane. Stevenson's in the house as well. Hello, Stevenson. How are you, laddie? Are you feeling well there, sir? We'll be nice and park in an actual parking spot. Yeah. All right, check this out. So, spent a little money. Sold. I sold things and bought things. I do that every time. But uh, we got this new truck. I traded in that little GMC box truck. Look at this box truck. Ha ha ha. Check that thing out. Is that not cool or what? So that's an old Ford 534 big block. Look at that beast. You can even uh, open up the uh, whole cab. Do a pre-trip inspection in there. <laughs> I love it. So that's one of our new additions. It's actually nicer. The uh, box, Crownzilla added, uh, he updated all his stuff today. And this box is better than the one that was on that little GMC truck. I can actually fit a good amount of pallets in there. So we'll be doing uh, popcorn. I think we'll be hauling a three pallets of popcorn in this truck. And then over here, we have a french fry party getting ready to start. Look at this setup. So I invested in this truck. This is by Stevie's Edits. Uh, Farming Simulator 22 Stevie's Edits. Uh, I've had this truck forever. But it's got like 32 pallets of uh, french fries on there. And then the T600 has like 27,000 liters in that trailer. And then the Peterbilt has a flatbed full, and that's still not all the popcorn or uh, French fries we have to haul. We still have a crap load more to haul. 
But uh, let's get started. Let's deliver our first load here. And Mike some money. Uh, who just sent that gifted sub? Bradley Simmons coming in with the gifted sub. Thank you, Bradley. And it's going to Kevin Wilson. Come on down. Thank you very much, Bradley Simmons. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, we also pleasant view says Uncle Billy needs more land for some barns. I know, I know. <laughs> I, I don't want to shrink that grass field any more than we already have. Because uh, we need as much grass as possible. Uh, Mandy McKinley in the house with the $5 super chat as well. Says, hello, Frosty. How's the awesomest stream I do? And I'm doing all right. Doing all right. And thank you. She said I'm the awesomest. Look at the weight on this. 31862 on this little truck. That's because we got 24,000 liters of french fries on here. That's a heavy load right there. All these french fries will be going to the same place. So I'm going to try to do a convoy and have these trucks follow me. I don't know how well that's going to go. But we'll see how it goes. I might have to shut down traffic for that. All right, so that was uh, heavy. 31,000, I think it said. All right, let's see how much this thing weighs. This is whole, This is holding 27,000 liters of french fries. I'll open the back for you so you know I'm not joking. Look, I manually loaded that. Can you tell? <laughs> Woo. I staggered it towards the end because it kept kind of tipping sideways a different way. So this is like my way of uh, trying to make an even load there. Everything's double stacked. And the truck can definitely feel the weight. It's pulling it a lot slower than usual. Oh, look at that weight. Heavyweight, 47359. Woo, baby. Right. Little hefty right there. I also painted this trailer black and put chrome rims on it. Mixed it up a little bit. Left the other two trailers back there white. All right, so we're going to follow him. All right, there is a truck driver in there. We'll say that's Dew Ann Baker. He's a safe driver. He drives slow like me, so he should be good. All right, now I'll we'll fire up the old Peterbilt. And this one's hauling 38,000 liters of French fries. There's a little, there's three wide and who knows how many rows, but yeah, it's a full load of French fries there. Ah, uh, that's a lot big load, isn't it, Mouse? Ain't no par like a French fry party, says Joe Coleman. That's right. I'm doing good, Sean Roberts. Uh, frozen horn again before I get out of the where's Demi Moore. Huh? Do Ann Baker coming in with the gifted membership as well. Going to the real Uncle Billy. Well, imagine that. Look at that. Uncle Billy's already a brand new member. Look at that. Thank you, Do Ann. Uh, Matthew Langford says, get it, driver. Come on. We're about to be rich. We need it, too. Been running out of money every stream on this series. Oh, stop it right there. And there's our heaviest uh, load right here. 51248. 51248. And we've already done the math. I think that equals close to like 100,000 pounds. They do it by, you know euro stuff whatever they call it in weight kilograms so that's like a hundred thousand pound load in real life so quite hefty all right let's follow the t600 no 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 yeah stop right there we're gonna give him a little less distance here follow distance Right control. We'll put it at 30. There we go. All right, we're going to shut down the local traffic just so these guys don't get in a predicament. 
the traffic off for the moment. Go hop up in the Mac. Thank you, Duan. I just want to say the farm's looking really good. Thank you, James. Thank you. Hey, Frosty, doing good, sir. Hope you and the family, that we're doing good, Stevenson. Glad to see you in the chat, brother. Shawnee2469, hello, hello. Mac Morrison, how's Mac doing today? You're not late this time. You're not that late, Bobby Drake. You're doing all right. You're doing all right. I'm with Kevin. Cut the grass. There's no grass to cut. Unless we do, like, some landscaping grass cutting. That's about it. But our actual fields are already cut. All right. Let's figure out who's paying the most for our French fries. Route 22 Diner. Uh, let's see what other options there are if that doesn't work. Somebody said they couldn't deliver their french fries. Which is very sad. Um, if we can't sell it out Route 22, we'll be selling it at fast food restaurant or wholesale. But we'll try to do Route 22 Diner first. So here we go. Crap load of french fries heading on out on the highway. 24, 27, 40, 51, 51, 77, 81. Close to 90,000 liters of French fries heading out on the road here. And there we go. We got a little cone, boy. French fries falling from the sky. Look at that. You can see the other options in stock check. It was in the last update. I know. That's nice. Uh, let's make steaks then. Let's make steaks then. Huh? What are you talking about, Mike? Selling some french fries. Look at that convoy, though. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, oh, oh. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, oh it's working. Look at that. Top right corner. 37, 38. That was 39 grand there. I don't even know how much we just made. 40. I don't know. Close to 50 grand on that load, I think. Ah, I messed up. I messed up, chat. Dang it. I was trying to make that work perfectly, and I screwed it up. All right, so we'll have to dismiss the guy behind us. I messed it all up. Dang it. I was doing so good. I came in a little too hot to the uh, 22 diner there. <laughs> What's up? Uh, halls are popping. Halls are popping. Yeah, I am. So we already broke a hundred grand. That's good. Still got a lot of French fries in here. The the empty the unloading spot is kind of crappy. It's like right up against the building. It needs to be a little further out by the road. Kind of trying to eyeball it. There goes that money. Top right corner. Top right corner. There she goes. 33, 34, 35. Another 35 grand there. Get out of the way for the other truck. Well, that convoy didn't go as planned. I was hoping I could keep it all organized the whole time. But it's almost impossible with where this uh, unloading zone is. I guess I can't be too upset. There we go. This is the mother load right here. Ooh, look at that. We're almost at $200,000. We 
yeah. Cha chain. Oh yeah, that load that load right there was seventy-eight grand worth on that flatbed. Oh, what a nice. Vada nice. Uh, Frosty's always making money. Can I borrow some for vocation? <laughs> yeah, it disappears quick, doesn't it? Scooty's right. By the time I make it, I spend it before the end of the show. So we're sitting at 220 grand. That was almost that was almost 200 grand in deliveries right there. Not bad. I think we'll use this little guy to do the rest of the deliveries for french fries. Just to keep it simple. Hopefully we'll have a smoother convoy on the way back. Now that you're rich, you can buy that field. Well, no. You're sort of right, but we have. I want to buy that New Holland bale picker upper, and that thing costs like 148 grand. So yeah, you'll see. <laughs> It'll disappear soon here. But we should still have quite a bit left over. Plus we have some popcorn to deliver. Uh, strawberry jam is in demand. I got about 10 pallets of that. So yeah. Plenty of money to make tonight. All right, let's bring the trucks back to the uh, warehouse here. Beautiful June sunny day at 8 a.m. in the morning in the game. Tons of time to get things done. I got a decent sized list. So uh, it'll be a fun show. A variety of things to do as usual. Let's go broke, says Mac, pretty much. Uh, can't cut grass. Let hay eat. What's up, BNW? It says, hi, Frosting Chat. I have my internet back. They had a network outage. They got it all fixed up for you. Good, good, good. What's up, Quadruple A? Some chili and cheese for those fries, and we have a party. Yeah. I got chili and cheese fries like a week or two ago for the first time in forever. And I wasn't pleased. I'm not a big chili and cheese. Like... I don't know, you just got to be in the right mood for it, I suppose, but it it didn't sit well. I wasn't too uh, excited about it. Right there. So we're going to be using this guy. All right, everybody made it back safely. So this guy's lightweight was like, what, 51,000 or something? Let's see what his empty is. Ooh, so he had like 21,000, which is, he, he had about a 42,000 pound load of cargo, not counting the truck and trailer. Ooh, that's a lot of French fries, man. We're all done with him. Probably going to be all done with this guy. Yep, we'll park him up too. So I think his lightweight was 40-something, chat? I can't remember. His lightweight's 23. I think his heavyweight was like 40-something. can't remember. I, I can't remember nothing. Yeah, he's looking he's looking good. Oh, ran into the fence. I got back eight hours after your stream. Chili cheese fries are better at a baseball game. What's up, Van Basky? Ian Oppenheim's in the house, Raging Skill. What's going on, Raging Skill? Yeah, baby. That diner is <laughs> gonna sell nothing but fries from now till Sunday. They got <laughs> I don't know where they're going to put all those fries. That little trailer, they're going to be 
people are gonna be sitting on fries. Yeah, it's like French fry overload. Hey, better there than in my warehouse. That was what was taking up the most room in the warehouse. There ain't gonna be much left in there after this. All right. So we'll be backing this into the warehouse here in a little bit to get french fries. But first, let's load up that new uh, Ford old school straight truck back there. Little box truck. Get him up and running. Lights on. So yeah, look at that. A lot better than the uh, the little GMC we had. The GMC had like a small area inside. This is like pretty good size. I should be able to fit plenty in there. I was, I was thinking I'll do a load of popcorn. We got three pallets of popcorn in demand. So we'll throw those on that little Ford box truck. And this should work out pretty well. There you go. About 3,000 liters of popcorn. We didn't have a whole lot of corn to provide to the popcorn production, so this is all we got out of the production last season. So we'll try to put... I think I only put like 10,000 liters of corn in the production. Easy peasy. All right, let's go deliver that real quick. Truck is sweet. What do you think of the old Ford truck, chat? That thing awesome. All right, she's all fired up. Yeah. Yeah, that thing's cool. Strap it down. You gotta manually close the doors, which is awesome. Right. Off we go. So, 3,000 liters of popcorn not going to make a huge chunk of money off of this because it's not a lot, but it is in demand. So we are going to take the popcorn to wholesale right there. And like Scooty was saying, we can look at um, different options there. You can click on that and it'll give you a rundown of uh, which place will give you the most bang for your buck. So wholesale is the best price right now, 2710. So not bad. Ah, uh, what's up, Steven Sargent? Hello. Uh, poutine with chili and pulled pork. Come on. It'll buff out, says Scooty. That's right. That's right. Indigest and overload. Yes. Yes. All right, I can probably put traffic back on now that we have convoys over. There we go. All right, traffic will be back. This thing only has like a 200 and... 245 horsepower or something. It's not like a strong truck, but it's perfect for little deliveries. Yeah, that's so cool. If anybody's wondering where to get this truck, Crownzilla. Crownzilla, just like it sounds. He's got an itch.io website. He's got all kinds of cool old school trucks. Ford, Chevy, GMC. Um, I use a lot of his stuff. And he just made a bunch of new uh, attachments today for his old trucks. This is one of them, the box truck. Alright, so here's where we're delivering. Pretty much just pull up right onto the uh, grain floor and it'll sell it for us. 
Top right corner. Bada bing, bada boom. So about $8,500 on three pallets of popcorn. I'll take it. I'll take it. Sign me up. Yeah, yeah. I love all that old stuff, man. These old trucks. Love it. Nice and detailed. Watchdog. How was your day, Watchdog? I'm watching Twister while watch Twister? That's an old classic right there. Isn't that Twister, Twister? Didn't that have, uh... It had two big actors in it. Twister. It had the guy from Titanic. The one that was doing the research, talking to the old Lady Rose. I forget his name. Didn't he pass away? And then the lady in Twister. Wasn't she the wife on the sitcom Mad About You? I forget her name. Am I right? I feel like I might be right. I might be wrong, but I feel like I might be right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that sounds about right. Bill Paxton, Pierce Bronson. Pierce Bronson is in Twister, is he? Bill Paxton, that's who I was thinking of. Is Pierce Bronson, oh, Helen Hunt, that's it, Helen Hunt. Yep, Mad About You, you remember that show? That was a good show, I liked that one. Mad About You, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. back this thing up. Such a cool truck. Bump the dock. We'll leave it running since we'll be heading out here soon. Alright, now we're going to load up. What am I loading up? Strawberry jam. Strawberry jam in my sandwich with peanut butter. It tastes so good. You remember that song, chat? Strawberry jam. Man, that was a good song. Strawberry jam. It's a good one, says Brandon. It is, it is. Hello, what's up, Francisco Garon? Joe J says, hello, Farmer Frosty. No, he was in Dante's Peak. I, I, yeah, Dante's Peak. That was a good movie, too. That was a very good movie. Dante's Peak with the uh, erupting volca volcano. That was, that was a classic as well. All right, we'll be pushing some pallets through here. I don't know if the forklift will... Yeah. Little too high over the dock for the forklift to drive over that. So this is Miss Frosty's homemade strawberry jam. This is about one year's worth of strawberry jam on the game. Gave us about ten pallets. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep. Hopefully we can... Get them to all fit in there. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna be testing the strength of this Ford truck. It's gonna be packed with strawberry jam. Come on, baby. Trying to push the pallets, it's not working. <laughs> Dang it. Uh oh. Alright, this might not work. Might have to get the big forks out if I can't push those anymore. Uh, that was Pierce Bronson. I'm farming on Bally Springs. Nice, Mr. Springer. Beautiful map. Nothing beats this. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. Yeah, I believe Barbara Walter sang it, says Vambuski. 
Barbara Walters sang Strawberry Jam. <laughs> Strawberry Jam. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. Oh, dang it. Dang it. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck, man? All right. That's what I meant to do. Just pretend you didn't see this part. I need like a blurry screen transition thingy. Or where the whole screen turns blurry when I do something illegal so you guys can't see what I'm doing. Um, how was your day? Good, Hunter. Doing good, buddy. Pretty sure it was strawberry wine. No, it was strawberry jam on your sandwich with hot peanut butter. <laughs> That's what it was. Strawberry wine? What the heck's that? Strawberry jam. Everybody knows that song. Uh, I think Frosty has been sipping too much strawberry jam, eh? Nothing wrong with that. All right, last load of strawberry jam. So that truck, I like the truck, but it's not very friendly with the uh, the dock, which is fine. All right, cool. So that's all done. Beacons off. Lights off. I'm gonna spawn more. Uh, French fries. Look how much we got. My goodness. We still have 91 pallets. Chase. My goodness. Just gonna push these in together. See if it'll spawn anymore. Nope. Alright. So we're gonna go deliver the strawberry jam. We can back this in and preload. Some more French fries. Yeah, watch this bad boy load up. Get nice and lined up. Will auto load. Bada bing, bada boom. 24,000 liters of popcorn on there. Nice. So he's uh, preloaded for when we get back. Right, let's see how much more we can spawn. We need to get rid of all those, all, all of them. All the french fries tonight. We're emptying out the warehouse of french fries. All right, here we go. Let's pull forward a little bit. Straps on. Here we go. Right. So that is 10,000 liters of strawberry jam. Let's get a little uh, heavy weight on the scale. All right, let's see what the scale's saying here. 13,595. 13,5,95. Uh, thank God the forklift operator didn't load the fries, says Midwest. <laughs> Uh, McDonald's and Burger King are going to have a good time. Come on. The Route 222 Diner is what's uh, taking all the french fries. Now i got to find out what's taking the strawberry jam for the best price. So we'll head back over to our time-saving stock check. Strawberry jam. Fast food restaurant. 
going to pay 25 grand pretty much. A uh, fast food restaurant is on the other side of town. Off we go. Have a nice joy ride. Uh, I think we should load our own trucks and ATS also. Wouldn't that be awesome? But then it would be more of a warehousing management simulator. It'd start turning into a tycoon, but I'd love it. But yeah, it's strictly... American Truck Simulator is strictly driving a truck. That's it. There's no uh, manual loading and stuff. It'd be cool, though. That would be pretty sweet. Now, look at our cornfield. Man, our crops are looking really good. That's all our fields. Corn, canola, and wheat. All three of those are ours. They all look really nice. I think you can lower that truck at the dock. Check the F1 menu. Oh, I wasn't even looking. Maybe, maybe it is. Um. Mm. Not that I'm seeing. Yeah, I don't think so. At least not, not, I'm not seeing any controls for it. I know the trailers, the 53-foot trailers, I can drop the air on those. Yes, sir. Uh, write it down, the right from the truck. I think we should, Ian Oppenheim. Aloha, Frosty. Since you're delivering popcorn, can you deliver beer to my house as well? <laughs> Popcorn's done. We're, we're delivering some jam. Ooh, that reminds me. We're going to make a pit stop at my farm. I think there's one extra pallet of strawberry jam ready to get from where we make the strawberry jam. So we'll squeeze that in the back of the truck here. Might as well. It's on the way. Aren't you enjoying seeing all that money in the top right corner? It's not going to last long, but it's still fun to look at. Alright, let's see here. Can we fit two more pallets of strawberry jam? Alright, let's see here. Straps off. Do some readjusting here. Oh, yeah. What's a couple more pallets going to hurt, huh? Just a little more weight for the truck to handle. Yes. Yes. More money. More money. All right, so that's 12,000 liters of strawberry jam now. And that's about as much as this truck can handle. 12 pallets. Wow. We got 12 pallets in there. Nice. Would the pallet jack mod work for inside the trucks? Um, You just got to be level with the dock. That's the hard part, is having a level entrance from the warehouse to the truck. If you can get a smooth, it w might work. I, I haven't tried it. Yeah, I haven't tried it with that. Hello. What's up, Fent Farmer? What's up, buddy? Got a 10-wheeler box with Air Ride. Uh, my dad had to run a yard truck for these a couple days. It sucks. A yard truck for these. I think we should have one run right down. Maybe Scooty can make them do that for you. What, drop the air? Ah, 
now I don't want to make anybody do anything. Scooty's a busy man, just like you, Pleasant. Busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. All right, here's the restaurant up ahead. And they kind of need their grass cut. So maybe if we have time tonight, maybe we will get the uh, zero turnout and go cut some grass at certain facilities. Because it's looking a little rough, eh? All right, let's sell our jam. Top right corner. Should be a nice chunk. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-five. Yeah, about twenty-six grand. Not bad. That puts us at two hundred and fifty-six thousand dollars. Very nice. All right, head back to the house or the warehouse. I mean, is that straight truck a new mod? the The truck's been around. Crownzilla updated and turned it into an AR. Well, he already had an AR pack. He added more attachments. This is a new attachment he made today, or released today. So that's Crownzilla at his itch.io, C-R-O-W-N-Z-I-L-L-A, Crownzilla. And it also should work with uh, some of the BC Bueller attachments. I haven't tried it, but it looked like in one of his screenshots that it was hooked up to one of the BC Bueller uh, grain beds. It should work. Oh yeah, French fries facilities, grass needs cut. I bet you the church needs cut. I got... That's low priority though. We don't need to cut grass unless... Uh, we're like bored. Yeah, if you look out in the distance, the church, their grass needs cut. It looks horrible. Going upstairs, don't trip. <clears throat> Carefully, Rich Uncle Billy doesn't like you smashing up his trucks. This isn't his truck. The warehouse is all my stuff. Farmer Billy don't touch my warehouse stuff. Loan, we're $900,000 in debt and loan money uh, because I took out more loan money to build Farmer Billy's uh, cow pasture. So that put me in the hole even more. So now we're almost a million dollars in debt. But that's all right, I don't care about the loan. I need to buy a new $150,000 bale picker upper. That's more important, right? We're all done with this truck for the night. All right. So nice. All right. So now we're gonna haul some French fries. And we'll be coming back to get another load of french fries. So these are all going to the Route 222 Diner. Another 24,000 liters. What's up, Jason Kubertson says in Iowa. Are you in Iowa? Is that what you're trying to sell me? Hello, Tony Martig. How's Tony doing tonight? I'm surprised that the truck doesn't need repair yet with all the cars you hit. Oh, relax. Mr. Fireslain, did you get the day off made up for the one you had to get called into yesterday, or are you working? Have had ramen noodles on hot dog. Ugh, no. Did I just pass? Nope. Have I had ramen noodles on a hot dog? That sounds disgusting. No, I have not tried that, and I don't think I want to, or ever will. Sounds like something you can uh, keep enjoying on your own there, buddy. <laughs> Ugh. That sounds horrendous. No thanks. Alright, another 
46, 47, 48. Yeah, 50 grand. About 50 grand there. So we're getting 50 grand to load with this truck here. Head back and get another one. We just broke 300k. Oh my goodness. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Ooh, mama. I'm good, Frosty. I've been here for about 30 minutes now. I'm trying my best, Tony. Uh, nope, working and just got back from a fire. Uh-oh. Everything okay? I hope everybody's good. Still 91 here in Northwest Illinois. Today was a record high. I don't. I never checked what the temperature was, but I just remember looking at the PC and it said record high today in South Carolina. But I went on a bike ride with Miss Frosty around 12 o'clock, like right in the middle of the day, and I didn't. It didn't feel as bad as I thought it would for a, a record high day. No worse than it's been. Yeah, it was a little toasty, but nothing crazy. It's probably like 90 degrees today. That's what it felt like. I don't see how that's a record high day, but... All right, more french fries, yeah. Not a cool little uh, straight truck. That's an edit by Stevie's Edits, actually. Scoot over beside those three. And spawn a few more. There we go. We're all loaded up. Another 24,000 liters. My goodness. My goodness, they just won't go away, will they? We're getting close. We're getting close. All right, let's head out with our... Uh, how many loads of french fries is this? Three, four... This would be the fifth delivery of french fries since we started the show. <laughs> we did a massive flatbed. A... This would be the third load with this truck. We did a 53-foot van full of them. That's uh, just been a French fry phenomenon. Now imagine how hot it is in Afghanistan. It's like stepping into an oven, says Fent Farmer. I think it only got to 91. To yeah, it didn't feel that bad. I thought it felt pretty good out, to be honest. I just remember when I hopped on the PC today to set things up, it said record high. Whatever. Now, where the heck are they putting all these french fries? They must have, like, an underground bunker. A survival bunker to store fries in underneath this <laughs> little trailer. I'll just stay in any way they're putting them all. All right, another 50 Gs. What would be cool is if every time you deliver to one place, like, the price goes down and maybe the price goes up at another place. That'd be cool. But it doesn't do that, I don't think. Yeah, it's still saying Route 22 Diner, even though we've brought them a garbage load full. Sitting at 355 grand. Oh, maybe we will put a little uh, dent in the debt tonight, even after we buy the Baylor machine. Yeah. That little place must really sell. So they, they're, it's the only place in town you can get some good French fries. That happens. You just have to hit around 200K of delivered products. Oh, does it? Really? Or are you just making that up? Because I fall for anything you say. Uh, doesn't everyone have a secret fry bunker? I think so. Alright, back at it again. We can fit more on the big flatbed, but it's kind of awkward getting it in here to pick them up automatically. So I found that this one just works better. 
that's why we're using this one. fit three more on there. Keep spawning them out. 37 more pallets to deliver. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, back up. Get a few more. All right, full load. Another 24,000 liters. Get out of the way, fork left. Chase. Oh yeah, we'll be able to get the rest on our final load. Nice, I think. Nope, we'll have to make two more loads, dang it. All right, two more loads after this one. Uh, I wouldn't. You're my favorite, turd. <laughs> my free subscription ran out, says Glenn. Well, there you go. He says, who cares if it ran out? I am gonna officially become a Big Rig Frosty Gaming member. That's Glenn Mead. Thank you so much, Glenn, for becoming an official member. Fancy pants, I tell you what. I appreciate you, man. Uh, Kevin Flores also sent in a gifted membership to William Rildell. Rildell. Well, congratulations, William. Make sure you say thank you to Kevin Flores. He's a nice guy. He's okay. He asks lots of questions, but he's a nice guy. Ah, uh, we just broke 400 grand. You know the sad thing, though? We didn't plant any potatoes for our second year on this series. We're in uh, year number two. And we missed the window. I just didn't want to plant any. <laughs> I wanted to focus more on canola and sunflower oil will be our big money makers on season or year or two, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and we got two cotton fields, so we should have close to three or four bales again of cotton, which was another huge profit so instead of seeing a ton of french fries by the end of the second year on this series we should see a lot of sunflower oil olive oil will be our big money makers because i didn't deliver i didn't plant one potato on any of my fields i kind of got potatoed out uh, but hey it was worth it. Look at all the money we got now from our french fries. Got a tornado siren going off sitting here watching the stream, says Mr. Hoffman. Oh, good. Stay safe. Stay safe. Did you get that warehouse on the Mod Hub? Yes. Yep. It's on the Mod Hub. It's the most recent warehouse that was added to the Mod Hub. And it's a good one. It's so nice. I, I really, really like that. Like, it's really cool. It is nice. I've used, uh, like, three different warehouses. And this is by far my favorite for single player. This is an awesome single player warehouse. It's so easy to manage. You just you dump stuff here to store. And then you spawn them out right here. Super easy. And that's what's left. Um, a couple of the other... There's one warehouse I've used that uh, all the Jack Whackers and I used on... Oh, what the heck was that map? Well, we used one on the Bloomfield Canada map. That was like a medium size. That was awesome, too. But that was more for multiplayer. Like, it had the racks. It was super cool. And then another huge one I think we used on... 
can't remember the name of that. Back County Roads? I think it was Back County Roads is where I built the huge warehouse. That one was, like, ridiculously big. But it was, again, it was set up for manual. I don't think that had any auto features on it. That was all you unload it manually, store it manually, load it back out manually. But it was super nice, super cool. Seems like it holds a lot. That warehouse we're using tonight, this one holds 2,000 pallets. That's the maximum, which I'm nowhere near that. Even with all these french fries, I think we only were around 200 pallets total in storage. And it holds 2,000. Top right corner. This is all from two big potato fields that we harvested. That is crazy, man. Here you go, another 50K. All right, final delivery, I swear. Woo, one more. <laughs> What's up, Zach Ryan? Uh, thanks, Watchdog. You are a legend. What'd he say? What'd he say about you? So I'm trying to get SimStation to do a series on the old dairy farm. He did a video, but needs 150 likes for him to do it. Well, everybody needs to go like it then, eh? That tornado siren could be a fire call going out to the volunteers. It could be. Could be. You need a box of fries? I got, like, truckloads of it, Brian Santor. Come on over. I've already got a half an hour logged in on this truck. <laughs> We've been running it hard since we bought it. Come on, baby. She only goes six in reverse. A little rough. everything oh. final pallet right behind us yeah oh what the heck just happened there Let's reload that I don't know what happened there we go all right, final delivery, 10,000 liters. And we can say goodbye to this warehouse for a little bit. My goodness. Could you imagine if we loaded all those manually? We'd be here all night. Because I'm, I'm, I'm okay on a forklift, but we'd still be here forever. So thank goodness for auto load. <laughs> that would have taken quite a while. All right, lights off. All right, let's go deliver our last bit of French fries. I, I keep forgetting to uh, download Simple IC and reactivate it again. I keep putting it, I keep forgetting. That way we can interact with other tractors and stuff like Pleasant's uh, 7000 series and I can't remember if the 8000 series has any interactions, but there's a lot of other tractors, mods that work with Simple IC. I don't know why I deactivated it or accidentally deleted the mod or something. But I need to get that put back on. Final load of French fries. Route 22 diner should be good for many, many moons on French fries. All right. 20 grand, that puts us at $475,000. We started the night at 32 grand. We've made like 450 grand since we went live, mostly on french fries. We did sell strawberry jam and popcorn, but my goodness. That's what you call a french fry party. What's up, rabbit, rabbit? How's it going, Daddy? 
So now we get to buy our brand new New Holland Bale Picker Upper. I don't know what the rest of it's called. I'll show you here in a minute. It's a little pricey. Uh, but we are going to have a lot of leftover money. We're going to pay off some loan, uh, pay off some leased equipment. Make sure that's all paid off. I might have all my leased equipment paid off already, actually. So we might be in luck. It means a lot of leftovers. A lot of leftover money for us. See if there's any donuts in here. No donuts? Usually the scale lady has some donuts. No. Nope. Maybe they're hiding them up here somewhere. No, nope, no donuts. We're out of luck. Donuts? No. Nope. Hose. Toolbox. No donuts. Dang it. What about the scale house? Or, I mean, yeah, has he got any donuts hiding in there? Nope. Fine. All right, let's head back to the house. <clears throat> I'm not leaving my uh, trike here at the warehouse, so we're gonna bring it home with us. There we go. Strap her down. And roll out. Alright. <laughs> That's how you get her done. He didn't put a hitch on that international truck. What the heck? A hitch on the international truck. National truck. What you talking about, Mac? Uh, the stream isn't over. It will be gone by the end of the stream. It's possible. It might. You're right about that. Duane Baker is coming in with the gifted membership going to Zach Ryan. Thank you, Duane Baker. And congratulations, Zach Ryan, for your 30-day trial of being a member. Of what it's like to be a member. You get 30 days to decide if you like that feeling or not. It's free. Isn't it great? Thank you very much, Duane. What's up, Fred Murphy? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So pretty. June. Beautiful. Everything growing. Everything looks so flush. I love, I love that stage of growth for the sorghum. Isn't that nice? So fresh and green. Ah. So just, mm. <sighs> oh, good stuff. Good stuff. About six acres of sorghum right there. Out of nice. That mod that came out yesterday, the modder didn't put a hitch. Now I can't pull my header. Sold it. All the, uh, all the international eight, 1800. They put everything else on it. They forgot to put a hitch on there. I mean, they, they pimped it out. I, they put all that weird stuff. I don't like all that weird stuff. I have mine just set up as a good old grain truck. That's about it. But yeah, you can set it up as like a like a low rider with big rims, tow truck. It looks ridiculous. I'm not, I'm not into all that. I just ain't into it, you know? Just ain't into it. I like that old school look. Just original. Yo. Alrighty. Alright, so chickens are running low on food, but that's okay. Because we're going to harvest barley. We will be harvesting some barley. I'll show you my animal situation. Man, we got so much money. <laughs> All right, so here's uh, Uncle Billy's cows. 
we, we fed them at the beginning of the stream. I put those big bales of hay there, so they're good. Look at the slurry they're bringing in. Uh, they're empty on straw, but I found out that that doesn't affect the health. Sometimes, if you don't put straw on certain modded uh, animal pastures, it'll bring the health down. But this one looks like your health still is good as long as they have food. And sometimes it matters if you have a little bit of each. This one doesn't. We've got straight hay, 100% health. So that's nice. Nice and simple. Uh, pigs, their health is slowly gaining. They ran out of food. Last night, you remember, we were almost out. So they ran out of food. I did give them a bunch of uh, soybean. I gave them a whole truckload. So that's why it's high on protein. But there's a good example. Even though they got 25,000 liters of soybean, their health is bad. That's why I had to buy like a couple bags of pig feed so they'd get a little bit of the root crop, grain, base food. Otherwise, the health would have stayed at zero, which is poopy. Uh, chickens, almost out of food. We're going to feed them barley here in a little bit once we harvest it. My cows, pretty much good on food. We need to go clear out the milk, which will be even more money for us. And then the horses are just fine. They're doing really good. They're worth $1,300 a piece. They're 10 months old. Oh, yeah. They're almost halfway to puberty. So they can start making babies. You know what I mean? All right. All right. We're going to finish picking up this hay out in the front yard. Do a little bit of Red Acres vacuuming. This is Farmer Billy's equipment. He lets us borrow it. Miss Frosty's riding shotgun. There she is. That activated. So yeah, we'll get this all vacuumed up. That'll be our next chore to finish up. Chicka wow wow. I thank you again, Duan. John Giblin, good evening. Watchdog, you out of here? Have a good one, brother. Sleep well. Thanks for hanging out, as always. And I'm sure you already did, but if you didn't, hit that like button. Anybody else that's watching, hit that like button if you haven't yet. If it's your first time here, hit subscribe. That'll give you live notifications. I stream usually Monday through Friday. Uh, usually the start time is 8.30 p.m. Eastern. I'm here in South Carolina in the United States of America. But that doesn't mean you can't be from somewhere else. We got people in here from Australia, Canada, Great Britain, Germany, France. They're all over the place. So you, it, it, just just try to remember the time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. You know what I mean? All right, let's switch that to tons. We got 5.4 tons of hay in the trailer right now. This thing doesn't take tight turns very well. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll just go over here. Wasn't able to swing it. But we got slurry everywhere. My, my barn, the cows, the pigs, Uncle Billy's cows. So we'll get those frack tanks hooked up to the old Mack truck. We'll get them all filled up with slurry. And I'm going to place... Uh, I'm going to place one out, far out in the one field over there, and then one far out over there. So it'll cut back on having to uh, drive back to the farm so much when we are spreading slurry. that would be nice. And we'll get to throw some slurry on this field here when we're done. But there's never a shortage of it on this map. 7.30 Central. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Miss Frosty looking fine today, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> She's looking all right. Watch it, boy. Vacuum is a real farming terminology. That's right. We're vacuuming. This thing turns horrible, though. It's a big 
forage wagon. See, be back in a bit. Have to go punch in for work. All right, William. Well, you probably won't be back for a while if you gotta work. He's like, don't worry. I find the quiet corner where nobody see me, and I will finish watching you. Uh, Kevin Flores coming in with the twenty dollar super chat. Says Frosty, I'm having a slice of pecan pie. Drizzled with hot chocolate sauce for dessert. What is the most decadent thing you've ever ate? I don't know. Oh my, I'm like almost 40 years old, Kevin. I can't remember all that stuff. Um, I'm very, uh, I'm very happy with a, a bowl of Aldi's Moose Tracks ice cream. I don't know. It's something about Aldi's Moose Tracks ice cream. That's the one that's vanilla with chocolate swirl and peanut butter cups and chunks of fudge. Like, it's just... Ugh, makes me so happy. So that would be probably in my top five. I don't know. It just depends what mood I'm in. Uh, what food is South Carolina famous for? Boiled peanuts. Ugh. I think they're disgusting, but they're like everywhere. Like every corner, every every couple miles, somebody has a little hut full of boiled peanuts. And I just, ugh. I tried them at a baseball game. I tried them at a side street vendor over the years I've been living here. And they're just disgusting. Some people say they're the best thing ever. I think they're gross. I'd rather, I'd rather nibble on some toilet paper. <laughs> it's so bad. Blech. Not good at all. But yeah, that's something they're famous for, is uh, boiled peanuts. All right, we got seven tons of hay. Almost a full load out of that front yard. That's a lot of hay, brother. And I'm delivering all that hay right where Alice is sitting. Let's get Alice out of the way. Walmart already has Halloween stuff up, do they? Jeez. Boiled peanuts are nasty. They are nasty. Thank you. All right. So a lot of people think it's nasty. So it's Rocky Road? I don't know. No, there's no peanuts in it. Doesn't Rocky Road have, like, actual chunks of peanuts? Nah, I don't like that. No, Moose Tracks is just a chocolatey, wonderful experience. Chocolate, peanut buttery. Mm-hmm. If you, if you shop at Aldi's, you know what I'm talking about. Where's my Aldi's shoppers at? You know. And sometimes it's not there. You go in the freezer section, and you're ready to grab your your big thing of uh, moose tracks, and there's not one to be found. You kind of want to rip someone's head off. Yeah, I've been there, done that. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about if you're an Aldi's shopper. So good. Alright, let's dump this. I don't know. If, yeah. Ooh. Mmm. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't put it in here. Maybe I should put all the hay in that silo. Because I want to leave room for straw. All right, so we got 273,000 liters of silage, 126,000 liters of hay. Yep. We're not actually, we're going to dump all this in there so I don't run out of room for straw. I want all my straw to go in there. That way we have a nice uh, all three ingredients to mix for TMR. Yep, 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 yep. Glad I checked that or... Probably would have filled it up and had no room for straw. Why? Dump it. A lot of hay, baby.
you shop at Aldi's, then you know what I'm talking about. Peanuts in a Coke bottle? I remember that. Dustin Larson, hello, hello. Boiled peanuts and beer is great. <laughs> Ugh, nasty. Um, grape nuts was the biggest cereal scam in American history. Open the box. No grapes. Kevin Floors is mad about that. No room for straw. <laughs> the ice cream you were talking about, I like it too. Yeah, it's called Moose Tracks. Like, that's what it says right on the box. Moose Tracks. It's delicious. All right, Farmer Billy, we're all done with your... Uh... Well, actually, we will be using this again too. So we're going to be doing two different things with straw tonight. We're going to be making little square bales. And we'll also vacuum a little bit of it. I'd like to vacuum... Oof. I'd like to get 100,000 liters of straw over in the, the uh, silo. I don't know how much straw this is going to give us. I don't know if it's going to give us 100,000, but we'll see. All right, so park that there. Biggest scam is the Cowboys being America's team. <laughs> there is three things that I won't eat. Boiled peanuts, circus peanuts, and black licorice. Yeah, I don't like black licorice either. Ooh. It should be illegal to sell that stuff. Mm. Let's fill up our greenhouses and the horses real quick. And then we're going to start harvesting our barley. We don't need to water the horses. Never mind. This will be good enough. Let's water these guys. Good enough. So that was our farm. That's our mix. Well, strawberry jam. Or those greenhouses provide strawberries. My bad. So we topped off that one. That one's pretty much full. Good enough. Good enough, mine. Nice sunny weather out. No reason to get all crazy parking that. We'll just leave it here in the, the yard. Look at all the manure. Oh my goodness. Got a full load there, daddy. Should we spread manure on that grass field real quick? Or slurry? Slurry or manure? I kind of like the manure. Kind of enjoy that. Yeah, I think we should drop some uh, manure on there. Yeah, got 12 tons of it. Let's use it. The old Ford fired up. Slinging some turds. If you're a member, put that slinging turd sticker in the chat. Yep. Only psychopaths eat black licorice. It's pure masochism with how bad it is. <laughs> I thought Moose Tracks was a brand when I was a kid, but nope. Just a flavor of delicious ice cream with tiny peanut butter cups in it and fudge and caramel. Oh, so good. Ford Power. Uh, Ford Power, but not enough power. It kind of struggles pulling this uh, manure spreader. But that's my fault. I didn't check the uh, horsepower required for the trailer. So it's a little underpowered, but it gets the job done. All right, bottom left corner, precision farming menu or whatever. It's going to show us our nitrogen levels here. So we're going to turn that orange into green. And it'll it'll be ready to just grow back again, the grass. Yeah. Nice. Come on, baby, you can do it. Gotta believe in yourself. 
Once it gets to like 50% empty, then it starts rolling pretty good. But it struggles anything over 50%. Typical Ford. <laughs> I do have a Chevy shirt on tonight. My character does. You look closely. It's got a Silverado pickup truck t-shirt on. <laughs> Completely random. Like I've said before, I could care less. Chevy, Ford, Dodge, Mitsubishi, Isuzu. I don't care. As long as it runs, whatever. Don't care. Bigger fish to fry than the type of truck you drive. Right. You know she's rolling a little better. It's like turning the green carpet into brown carpet. It's kind of what we're doing right now. Just making some brown carpet. All right, let's try to straighten up the edges. Have you seen that Wilson Hopper bottom trailer being made? I think it's an older style. Looks good so far. Who the heck are you talking about? Who's it by? I don't know. So many different mods being made by different people. I don't know Mac Morrison. I'm sorry. Whiskey Sierra modding. I know he likes working on a lot of different trailers. some slopage on this field kills the tractor I work for Ford but for some people it's good since I will always have a car to work on and make money <laughs> some brown shag carpet that's right Uncle Billy yeah some 80s carpet 90s early 90s too I remember when I was little like little, little, like seven, eight years old, maybe. The one of the houses we lived in. It was like brown carpet. It shows everything. Like if you drop like anything that's light colored, it just, just sticks out like a sore thumb on brown carpet. It's just almost impossible to have clean brown carpet. <laughs> It was good for picking up Legos, though. You could find all the Legos pretty easy. Dang. We might, we might get away with covering this whole field with one trailer. One trailer full of manure. Heck yeah. Oh, I missed this corner over here. Making you dizzy yet? Yeah, awesome. I don't think I've ever covered this field with one trailer full. That's because we uh, had it on perfect nitrogen when we cut it. So I think that gave it a little leftover nitrogen after the cut. Because usually it's like red after a cut. So I don't know. 
That's nice though, look at that. With a little bit left over. Very nice. So now when we stand on the field, we have perfect nitrogen. Uh, pH is okay. As long as the pH is okay, I don't really mess with it. Once it gets to bad, that's when I whip out the uh, lime spreader. Because that costs money too to buy lime. It can uh, add up pretty quick when you're filling up loads of lime. Shag carpet was 70s, buddy. Well, then we had shag carpet in the 90s, okay? <laughs> Good evening, Logan Goddard. What's up, buddy? Welch says, hello, Frosty. Hello, Welch. All right. We're just going to preload this trailer for next time. There's always time for loading up some manure patties. How's Welch doing? Good evening, Logan Goddard. See you later, Francisco Garon. Have a good night, man. Wow, look at all those uh, slinging turd stickers. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Makes me feel good to see those being used. Good stuff, Mike. Don't you love how it, like, just compacts it into a big block of crap? So odd looking, isn't it? Bubber D. Wolf. Hello. Shaggy carpet roof of van in the 90s. That's right, see? Kind of been in and out of the stream. School is draining my energy so much right now. Ugh. Sound like my son. He's he's already sick of it. Yeah, all he wants to do is fish and not think about school. <laughs> Go fishing. Yeah, he's kind of struggling. Not struggling. Like, he's not struggling at doing the schoolwork. He's struggling at going back to school. Like, he's just not happy about going to school each day. He's been he's been looking kind of miserable, but like, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Hopefully it gets better for you, but unfortunately that's part of life, going to school. Alright, dump it like it's hot. Yeah. Thing spick and span in there. <clears throat> he caught three fish today, so he, he ended the day on a good note. <laughs> Got a few blue gale. But he walked in the house a little happier than he was when I picked him up from school. All right, super clean manure pit there. Emptied it completely. Very nice. All right, chat. What do you say? What do you say? Let's look at my list real quick. All right, sell french fries, done. Did that. Cut front yard hay. Let's uh let's do the slurry tanks. Let's go fill those brand new frack tanks we got that Uncle Billy bought. We're gonna go load them up. 
and put them out into the fields for in the future for uh, fertilizing chores. Go take care of that real quick. I'm, I'm making you guys wait for that barley field right there. Oh, man. I know. I know. Kevin Flores, he's drooling right now. He's like, I need them to have some barley. Wow. <laughs> we'll get to it, Kevin. Hold on to your britches. All right. We'll get that barley, I promise. But first, we got other chores, okay? We got other chores to take care of. It looks like Uncle Billy's been out and doing some mudding. Got a little mud on the tires. All right, so uh, like I said, we're going to go fill these up with slurry and scatter them out in the fields. We got two of them. And I think they hold 40-something thousand liters. They hold a good amount. All right, we'll get a, all the slurry out of his cow barn first. Uh, this is another mod by Crownzilla. The uh, frack tank. Alright, I don't know how I could have done that better. <laughs> could have been a better way, I think. up that slurry. I wonder if that fill plane gets smaller. Is it getting smaller, Chad, or does it just stay one way? Oh, I think it is moving. Yeah, it's shrinking. Okay. So it is getting... So I bet you... When this thing's full capacity, it's probably up to this wall right here. Because there's where the opening is. But yeah, it's slowly getting uh, smaller there. What's up, Orville Ward? Where are you at, driver? Where's Orville at? Hey, Orville, how's the wife? Where's Orville? Oh, there he is. He says, hello. Hello, Orville. Don't worry, Frosty. Kevin is used to disappointment. He's a Cowboys fan. True. Are you in a hurry or something? Cut the diner's grass. That's last priority, Kevin. Cutting the grass is last thing on my list. We got actual farm work we got to do. Yeah, cutting the diner's yard. All right, so this thing holds 43,750 liters, and that didn't even empty that one. My goodness. All right, let's go get it scattered. Not scattered. We're going to go park this out in the middle of a field somewhere. So anybody wondering what the heck we're, why I bought these, it's to keep us from having to drive back to the farm every time the slurry spreader gets emptied. We'll have this sitting out in the fields, and uh, it's great, okay? It's going to be really good. So there. How you like that? All right, so I know I want one over here. Ah, dang it. I want to back it in. I don't want to damage the crops. 
I swear, the AI's brains are not there. Alright, let's see if we can swing this turn. I don't think we'll be able to swing it, but... Try to. Uh-oh, maybe we can. Ooh, almost a jackknife. But it worked. So this one, I want to kind of plop right between these two fields. We'll back it up to that tree almost. Because you got to remember, the field is going to be fully harvested and ready for slurry after the fact. So you'll be able to cut through fields no problem to uh, refill. Yeah, I'm thinking like right there is good. Nice. All right, so there's frack tank number one. So if we look at the map, we have it placed right here. So that's gonna be good for extra slurry to cover 11, 12, 13. Then I'm gonna go grab a tank and probably sit it like somewhere over here. Maybe even right there would be a nice spot because we don't own that field and it wouldn't conf conflict with any of the workers. Yeah, maybe I'll shove one right there. Yeah, you know what I mean, man? How do you buy a field? How do you buy a field? Uh, you go into this menu right here. And then see this... Uh, well, I'm blocking it. Right where my webcam is right now, there's a thing called farmland. You'll see it. Click on that. And then you'll see this screen pop up. And let's say I wanted to buy a field 29. I just click on it. And then I buy it. Ooh, that's 148 grand. We can almost afford... I mean, we can afford that, but we're not going to buy it. What crop do they have in that field? Cotton. Ooh. I think we might buy this. We might have to buy this, chat. Five-acre cotton field for 148 Gs. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Should we buy it? I think that's a no-brainer, huh? We can buy it from Gianna Hartman. Five-acre cotton field. Price per acre at the current state of the field is about 30 grand. Um, it's in growth stage five of eight. Narrow tires only. I do have a sprayer. Uncle Billy has a big sprayer. So if it needs, like, nitrogen, we can bring that yield up. Expected yields only 64%. Ugh. Yeah, we're definitely buying that. that that'll that give me three cotton fields to harvest uh, for cotton season. And cotton's big money. So that'll be 148 grand. And then we'll buy the precision map for it. That will be $1,800. It's got a 57 score. Whew. Look at my sunflower field. 90, per 90 score. That's pretty slick. That is my... Ooh, dang. My other sunflower field, 92 score. It's got cotton in it, but it previously had sunflower in it. That's the uh, precision farming scores. Good stuff, man. All right, so now that we bought it, Yep, that's what I figured. Nitrogen is bad. So once we get that nitrogen spiked up, we'll probably get that yield a lot higher. Nice. 
Very nice. Still got 324 grand left over. That's still plenty of money to buy our new Holland Bale Picker Upper. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go get frack tank number two. Don't do it. I did it, Scooty. I had to. I couldn't help it. <laughs> couldn't help myself. I can't help myself. Uh, Uncle Billy, I'm here to get your frack tank, boy. Turns on the dime, eh? We'll back the uh, rear end right up to the collection symbol there. fill that up. We might have to go get more slurry from my barn. I'm not sure. This I don't know how much is left in there. There you go, Mike. Once that's filled up, we'll go drop it. Then we'll finally maybe get to the barley harvest. I do need to deliver milk, though. I forgot about that. We do need to deliver milk, which will give us even more money. All right, fill frack tanks delivered. Did that now. All right, popcorn, strawberry jam. This is looking good, mate. You still got a lot more money to spend it. You know, I'm I'm gonna. We are gonna be spending more. Don't worry about that. Uh, the other machine I want to buy is I think 148 grand. And then I would like to. Let's see what our least. Yeah, see, I got a couple leased things that need paid off. The Ford tractor is 77 grand. Ouch. Hmm. Let's do it. Woo! All right, the Ford's paid off. Expensive tractor. All right, 96%. That's good enough. We don't need to go to my farm. That's a waste of a drive. 96 is pretty much full. 41 tons of slurry in here. We emptied out uh, Farmer Billy's cow barn. So two frack tanks got it empty. Very nice. Gosh, AI is so dumb. Like, you already passed. Why would you stop? <laughs> Why would you stop when you already went by? this one we're gonna take down to the uh, old grain mill here we're gonna cut down through here ah crap killed some of my sunflower dang it oh dang it I messed up you know what that's okay I'm not going to back up. That's going to be painful. So we'll drop this one like right here. This this will be fine. So that'll give us access to all four of my fields through here. That'll work good. Dang it. 
Look at all that sunflower, though. Ooh, that's gonna provide a lot of sunflower oil. We got two two fields of sunflower. This big mama one, and then that little one over to the left there. So that should make a good amount of oil. There you go. Drop it like a hat. Frosty should buy some knives. Money is only fancy, expensive toilet paper if you don't spend it. That's right. True. Still got a lot more money. Time for an iced cold Dr. Pepper. That sounds good, actually. I like Dr. Pepper. That actually sounds very uh, refreshing right now. Nice ice cold Dr. Pepper. All right, it's time for the uh, pre-trip inspection. Armor Billy said, "Bring the old Mac in here. He's gonna check things out." So. that there for him all right cool milk delivery we're gonna borrow his pickup truck we're gonna head down to the warehouse grab the milk truck come back to the farm get it emptied out of my cow barn cuz I'm almost filled up to the brim uh, we'll top off the dairy, and then the rest will be profit. All right. Uh, look at our frack tank sit sitting out in the middle of the field there. Ah, that looks sweet. That extra slurry. Yeah. And those are only 20 grand. It's not too bad. Ready. I could crack a cold one, could ya? What is the best planter? Uh, you always ask what's the best this, what's the best that. I don't I don't ever have an answer for that, to be honest, because it's everybody's preference, buddy. It just depends. I, I don't know. I don't know if you're big scale farming, small scale, medium, it just depends. I don't know if you like John Deere, if you like Case, if you like foreign European brands. I don't know. So that's why I don't really say what's the best. More of a, an opinion of what you like. So, I don't know. I disappeared for a little bit and money is already cut in half. What you talking about? Did I spend that much? I bought a field. I bought a field for 146 grand. I think that's all I've bought since you've been gone. <laughs> yeah, I have a, you know, the money kind of disappears. Let's take let's take the Peterbilt to do milk. I always take the T six hundred. Let's take the old Peterbilt. Come on, Frosty. funny how every mod has like different horns some are super quiet you can barely hear them some are blaring all right that'll work go get some mail Bring it on around. 
thinking about once we have, well, I guess we already have some good money. Not really, because once we buy the new Holland, we'll be down to a hundred grand. I kind of want to buy one more truck in the future to hook up to the milk trailer and keep over at the dairy so we, we're not always going back and forth. I just have a shortages, shortage of trucks. That's why I leave the tanker over at the warehouse. Yeah, look at the frack tank sitting out there. That's nice. We're not going to mess with Farmer Billy's milk. He barely has any. He's got like 2,000 liters. We're just going to get what's in our barn. Bring her up close against the uh, milking station here. I don't know if that. Yep, that reaches. Nice. All right, filling up some milk. All right, seventy-four percent full. Very nice. Thirty-three tons of milk. Get a new truck too, says Scooty. Then we won't have like any money. Because you know, a big truck's a little pricey. We could lease one, I guess, but eh, we'll get we'll burn that bridge when we get there. The next big profit we're gonna make will be when the soybean's ready to sell. Yeah. Look at the price. It's almost it's actually almost perfect. I was going to sell that in July. Yeah, look how much soybeans. We got 67,000 liters worth 242 grand. So that'll be our next big uh, profit. We've also got eggs. That's not till November. Yep. What the heck? Wouldn't be a frosty stream if you end the night with 100k or more. I know. I don't think we will either. I don't know. Like, my biggest goal is to buy more fields so we have more, you know, stuff. More grain. and Because I found out in the first year of this farm series... We ran out of grain really fast, but that was more because of my poor ability to... I, I put too much toward productions and didn't save enough for the animals, for the pigs mainly. Even the chickens ran out of wheat and barley. I, I, I gave too much of it to the flour, the grain mill to make flour. So that was my fault. That milk like it's hot. Oh. Back her up. All right, we're just topping off the facility. Bottom right, you can see it emptying it out. But we should have a good chunk of leftovers. Yeah, half a trailer, 22 tons left over. So wholesale is the best place to sell it. This is going to be another big... This is going to put us back over 300 grand, I think. Milk is always uh, very profitable. Nah, 
nasty right hand turn here. Go sell the rest. Hello, Anne McPherson. How are you? Just passing by to say hello. Hello to you as well. Uh, Kevin Flores coming in with the $5 Super Chat says Dallas Cowboys will win the Super Bowl this year. 14-3 record for the season, undefeated in the playoffs. You heard it here first, says Kevin Flores. Woo! That guy's full of dreams, isn't he? He's a dreamer. And there's nothing wrong with being a dreamer. It's fine. Thank you for the $5 super chat, brother. And I, I wish you the best. I don't really care about football much these days. So, hey, if they win, I'm happy for you. Good for you, bro. All right, top right corner. Here goes our, all our uh, leftover milk. Let's see if we can break 300K. And more tons to go. Come on, baby. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Still good, still good, though. 40 grand. We just made a $40,000 on milk. So about 13 grand shy of 300K. That's not bad. That's still pretty good. think chat not too bad huh Hey, Frosty, how's the farm and everyone doing? Brittany Sprouse is going very well. I just stuck a cowboy in my field. I ran out of slurry and heard the cowboys are full. <laughs> oh, oh, Stevie, stop it. I'm going to make Kevin very sad. <laughs> Living in delusion isn't bad at all. We get to believe all sorts of delusional thoughts. Yes, Ian. See, Kevin Flores, he'll be just fine. If that's what's going to keep him going, then I wish the best. That's good enough there. Let that thing cool off. Let that thing cool off a little bit, eh? Right. Now we can fire up the uh, the gleaner and do some barley harvest. I only made it. I only made you guys wait two hours. Not too bad. Two hours to uh, finally get to the harvesting. I remember uh, Duan Baker, he finally gave up, but he every night he'd always say, are, are we gonna harvest something? When are we gonna harvest? And he finally just gave up. He realized that when I'm streaming Farm Simulator, it's not always just gonna be harvesting fields. Actually, I think the last three episodes of this, there have not been any harvesting because we had the winter months and then this month was mostly delivering all those darn french fries. But uh, finally, we got a field to f harvest. We do have seasons on. So it makes the game play a little more realistic. You do have to wait for your harvest season. So there's always something to do in the meantime, though. 
I mean, we've we've been staying busy for sure. Whether it's slurry spreading, manure spreading, cutting grass, baling, there's always something to do. All right, that barley field is calling my name, though. That looks so nice out there. Oh, about six acres of fresh barley. All right, let's go fire up the gleaner. It ain't gonna fire itself up. Yeah. Park this in the shade so the seat don't burn my bum later. Wait a minute, it's not in there. Over here. she is. There's the beauty queen. Come on, open. Oh my goodness. There's the office. Time to fire up the office. Who hasn't done it yet? Hit the stinking like button, all right? I only asked twice. This is only the second time I asked. Yeah. Pleasant view probably already went to bed. He goes to bed too early. Sleepy head. Straighten up a little better here. Yep. <laughs> yeah. About to get the barley going. Oh, it looks so delicious. All right, let's make sure our swath is open. Unfold harvester. Straw swath is open. We are making sure it's open the whole time because we need as much straw as possible. We are struggling. Off we go. I'm not even going to hire a worker, chat. I'm going to do this whole field all by myself. All by myself. Yeah. Because usually I hire a worker so we can get other things done. But you know what? We're just gonna focus on a delicious barley harvest and I'm gonna do it all myself. But how you like that? Does anybody know how to check that Jack Whacker I am? Well, you have a hen, so I think you're six months. You're at least six. Well, yeah, you're you're at six months or more. That's what the hen is. You and Mandy just sang a duet, and you didn't even know it. All by myself. <laughs> Ow! Good stuff. Uh, Scooty, what's his? Oh, he's still talking cowboys trash talk, huh? You guys and your cowboys trash. Something, uh, something Pleasant View doesn't know that I did. I, for, I haven't told him yet. <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> well, since he's not here, I went in and edited how much this harvester can hold, you know what I mean? So it can hold a little more than the usual. Not, I didn't go overboard. I think I added another, I think it could hold, I think originally it held like 12,000 liters. I think I bumped it up to like a hair under 20, like 19,000 something liters. I can't remember. <sighs> A 
but he won't be too upset. Alright, so we're at 154 bushels already. We're almost at 50%. Things filling up pretty fast. It's because it's a delicious yield. I forgot to show you how much yield we were getting. It's like 100%. Bing! That means we're 50% filled. Does that not look beautiful or what? Uh -uh -uh. Alright, I would like to set up GPS steering. I don't think there's any laws against that. Alright. So that's just going to give us nice straight lines. I'm still the one controlling it. That just gives us our GPS steering. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. So nice. Mm -mm -mm. He'd be so happy right now. He, lo he loves seeing his stuff in, in action. Uh, who wouldn't? Like, what modder wouldn't love to see other people, like, using their stuff, especially, like, on a live stream? That's so cool. <clears throat> I know I'd be, I'd be happy to see it. Alright, so we're just going to line up for our next row here. Keep an eye on our percentage. Hopefully we can get this whole pass done. We're sitting at 290 bushels. 86% full. Look at Frosty not wearing a helmet. So much for safety. I don't need no helmet to harvest a field. I ain't that bad. Thank you, Frosty. That's all I want. Yeah, you're at six months or more, I believe. All right, we got to be careful here. We're at 96. I don't want to kill the crop. We have crop destruction on. So once that hits 100, we need to lift up the header and stop. Three hundred and forty-two bushels. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. We are going to go grab the chaser bin. We'll pull the chaser bin with the uh, MX. stuff. How long will it take before the hen turns into a rooster? One year. When you hit the one year mark, you get the rooster. When you hit the two year mark, like just a small handful of the guys in here, you get the golden rooster. Uh, golden roosters, we only got a few. I don't know if Red Acres, say something, Red, if you're listening, if you're here. Red Acres is one of our one year uh, people located 
located is also one of them. But I don't know if he's watching or not. Yeah, Red Acres has the Golden Rooster. And there's... I think Justin Vandeford has a Golden Rooster. I think... Mm, I don't know if Mr. Fireslaying hit the Golden Rooster yet. He's getting close. If, if he doesn't, he's getting close. There, there's the golden rooster. Look at that. Let's just so let that fill up. And she's empty. Time to get back at it. Look at that. Right back at it. Do you dream of farming or sometimes when you close your eyes do you see the map in your mind? I don't dr I haven't I don't dream much. I used to. I think it's because my memory's so bad. I might have dreamed, but just didn't remember I dreamed. Yeah, I never... I can't recall any dreams lately, chat. I don't know. Maybe I don't sleep enough to dream. <laughs> I, I don't get probably the proper amount of sleep that most people get. Filling up in the back there. Nice. So delicious and f look how good that looks. Oh yeah, yeah. You're welcome, Tony. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Had some stuff to deal with. Well, I hope you dealt with it. I was told you were singing, Daddy. I was slick. It is very cool to see uh, streamers and everyone enjoying the work you do. It's better than Patreon. It is. Look at Frosty not wearing a helmet. All right, let's lift this bad boy up. Back at it. Looks like one pass up, one pass back, and we'll be full again. We're getting a beautiful yield, like super good. It's filling up fast. I dream of farming all the time, baby. How many do I have before I get mine? I don't know. You have a cracked egg, Brian. I have no idea. A cracked egg? You got a ways to go, sir. Especially if you're used to getting, like, gifted memberships. Sometimes you won't always get it every month. So it probably takes a lot longer to get to the golden rooster. Your baby chick should be next because you got a cracked egg. Uh, baby chick is three months, I think. You start out with an egg. And then after one month, I think the egg cracks. And then after three months, I think you get the baby chick, I think. I think that's how that works. ourselves up a little better. Oh. 
So if you look at the uh, yield map, precision farming, bottom left, see how some of it's yellow, some of it's orange, some of it's green. That's because the whole field has different soil. You know, the soil's not exactly the same all the way through the field. So this area we're in right now, we're getting way more yield on the harvester. But on the back side where we just started that swipe was not as good. But overall, this is a good field. It's got a lot of green on it, so that's, that's good. Almost full again. Wonder how much straw we're going to get out of this. I got to keep an eye on that bottom right. 95%. 97, 98. Let's slow down. And 100. There you go. We'll get load number two. So a full harvester puts our grain bin at 40%, our chaser bin. So we can get two and a half loads out of the harvester into the chaser bin. Not too bad. We were backing up at the same time and our beepers were almost together. It sounded pretty cool. Really? In sync, eh? Switched to my backup phone to say battery till the power's restored. Very nice. Hey, Frosty, dumb question. What version of Farming Simulator 22 is better? Platinum or premium? Ah. Oh. I don't know. I get everything. I don't know. Platinum was pretty good, though, because it brought... Um, uh, Silver Run, the forest map, which is very good. And it brought all the new productions. The Platinum expansion was pretty awesome. But I get them all, so I just, you know, I stream it all the time, so it makes sense to make sure we have all the uh, stuff that the game offers to show you guys. But if I, if I had to pick between the two, I, I would probably go with Platinum. Anybody saying Deep Creek? Deep Creek messaged on, or he left a message, a comment on one of my streams this week. I think it was Monday or Tuesday stream. Said he won't be in the chat. Super busy. I don't know if he's out of town doing stuff, but yeah, he said he's super busy. So that's why we haven't seen any Deep Creek. One that is coming in November is the best FS22. You think so? I know the Oxbow stuff coming. I don't know how excited I am about the Oxbow equipment, but I'm excited about the new crops. Carrots, turnips, and what's the third one? Carrots, turnips, rye. Is it rye? There's like three new crops coming to the next... Uh, expansion. What's that Brandon Miller? What's going on there, driver? I 
It's that stinking patch back there again. Oh well. That combine is the first I ever drove when I was 12. Is it, Josh? What do you think about it, huh? Good old gleaner. I love it. Saw a lot of these growing up in Ohio. It was a it was a popular old harvester back then. Must have been affordable because there was a bunch of them in my neck of the woods. Heavy hauler, I am doing quite splendid. It includes everything up to that point for like forty-nine dollars. Oh, does it? Nice. Well, there, there you go, forty-nine bucks, and you get everything, huh? Yeah, that is. That's not bad. I reckon that's not bad. Yes, Kevin. It wasn't an interview. It was to fill out paperwork, but boss got sick, so he said he will be calling me back. So you got the job, right, Duan? Like, you officially got that job? Respect, bro, from Africa, Zimbabwe. What's up? R -r -r reward. Ta -ta. Hope I'm saying that right. Onions. Thank you. Onions. Yes. Turnips. Onions, carrots. I thought it was four crops. What are you drinking tonight? I'm all. It's always water. Every red beets. Yeah, Reed Larson. Reed Larson got the fourth one. Red beets, carrots, turnips, and onions. And there's like this onion harvester that looks pretty slick. So it'll be cool to mess around with that stuff when it comes out. There we go. At 67%. We should be able to get the swipe done. Dry mouth. Reward Chato. Says, yep, that's right, my guy. Respect. Respect! R E S P E C T. Find out what it means to me. <laughs> Woo! Those were good for farmers on a budget. Got their money's worth. There is a bunch of old ones in my part of Texas. Says Weston. I know, uh,. Is it custom modding? Isn't he working on like one of the, what would that have been? Like a 90s, early 2000s model of the Gleaner? I forget the name of the actual model, but I think that's what it, yeah. What's up, Mr. Lewis? I think it's custom modding that's working on that. I could be wrong. Or maybe it's Caesarius or Caesarus. I don't know how you pronounce it, that modder. Caesarus modding. Caesarius. This thing is super crooked. Why'd it go crooked like that? There we go. What a harvest, huh? Jeez. What a harvest. Six hundred and eighty five bushels, not counting uh, the rest of this load. We're about to fill up. All right, well, that's filling up. Let's go get our truck.
First time running this. It's the Case 1800. On its debut voyage of loading up some barley. What do you think, Miss Frosty? <laughs> she likes my truck. She says, oh, Daddy, I'm going to hop in that international right now. You ain't going to keep me away from there. Let's keep the truck off the field. Try to do a little bit of realism, I suppose. Listen to the Jake break. Listen to this. <laughs> Oh, was it Sid? Sid modding. S I. Yeah, Sid. Okay, yeah. I knew someone was working on it. Yeah, it looks pretty slick, doesn't it? Uh, which, what's the name of that Gleaner model? Anybody know? But yeah, Sid. Isn't all modding custom? <laughs> Hello, just got home from work. Hello, Mr. Vanderwall. Hey, Frosty, just realized I've been here the whole time without saying hi. Trevor, I had to smack you right upside the nipple. About time you said hello, Jack Whacker. Don't you ever do that again. How you doing, buddy? Realism turned crop destruction. Crop destruction is on. It's been on this entire series, Mr. Lewis. And I accidentally ran over some of my sunflower earlier tonight. So how you like that? Eh? How you like that? Old Isaiah trying to get in my grill. Ain't gonna work. Not gonna work. Peace. We had like 800 bushels in there. All right, while that's doing that. Continue harvesting. Don't forget to hit the like. Thank you, Jim Petty. Thank you, Reward Chato. Jake Break not allowed $500 ticket. It's I'm on my own property. Frank Jones' message has been retracted. It must have been something very inappropriate. When should I be expecting the swing video? I wouldn't expect it anytime soon, all right? I would, yeah, just, I don't know. The, the field that I hit the golf balls in, they only cut the grass like every so often. And right now it's like up to your, almost your knees. I'm not gonna be hitting golf balls in that. No thanks. So yeah, it'll, it'll be a minute before you ever see that video. <laughs> Trying to do this without having to move that John Deere tractor there. Right there. Pick it up. There we go. I'm eating a butter. <laughs> what are you eating? <laughs> it, say, it says I'm eating a butter ration turt. Hey, Frosty, how's your week going? Sorry I'm late, was playing Farming Simulator. Oh, my goodness. These excuses are... I don't even know how to... I don't know how to react to these excuses I'm hearing tonight. One person was working. One person's playing Farm Sim. One person forgot to say hello. I mean, what's wrong with you guys? I don't understand. I'd like to see someone make an R62 Gleaner with the Dietz or Cummins engine as separate options. Also, maybe the Agco 2500 as an option. 
Is that what you'd like, Frank? Is that what you'd like? Woo! Alright, so the International is full of barley. We'll let him fully empty. Let's go deliver a load of barley. 652 bushels in here. So I'm gonna, man, that Jake break's cool. I'm gonna top off the chicken coop and then the rest will go in the silo. Moving slow, huh? Full load. Oh, that sounds so good. Woo, man. I like that. Mm. Sounds real nice. Truck goes good with this uh, farm setup, I think. So no hitch. That is interesting. Mac Morrison was talking how he uh, was wanting to pull the header trailer with this truck, but there was no hitch option. That's interesting. Let's see how much the chickens take. They're pretty much starving, so they'll probably take quite a bit. All right. All right, they took not quite half the load, but they took a lot. It took about 200 bushels to fill that up. Uh, farming sins. <laughs> uh, what's going on, buddy? At least I'm taking time out of from karma. Exactly. You're, you're broadening your your playlist of car mechanic simulator and farm simulator. So there you go. Nothing wrong with that. I forgot, I do want to add a little of uh, grain for the pigs, so we'll give them a little bit. We're not giving them the whole thing. But, uh... Yeah, if we look at our pigs... They are heavy on the protein, but they could use some grain. So we're going to give them... We'll give them, like, 5,000 liters. I don't know what that equals. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start dumping. And then I'm going to keep an eye on the grain until that gets up to about right here. That's good enough. There you go. So that put the grain. Hey, look at that. 10,000 liters right on the money almost. So that'll bring that up. Um, and then root crops, that's when I'm gonna just have to add a bag of pig feed every once in a while just to keep that up a little bit. And then once the corn and sorghum's ready to harvest, the base food will, I'll put most of the base food in there. And that'll get their health back up to 100. Uh, oh crap. Did he add that stupid 82 Jake break to that truck to the International, the Mac? Two trucks ruined with his... I know. I know. Like I said, I got this thing set up as old school as I could. But if you saw some of the options for this International, you might... You might dry heave. 
the way this truck can look. I'm trying to keep it looking original to how it should look. <laughs> but yeah, it's got it's yeah, it's got the that Jake break. It does sound good though, you gotta admit. Not the type of Jake you would ever hear on a uh, old international like that, but I tried this map last night and I'm really enjoying it. I learned what to do by watching you and doing the opposite. What did you just say? Kevin Flores, that is not funny. It's actually very rude. <laughs> you little... I can't believe he said that. How rude. Yeah, I was kind of... The only thing I am love about the update to this truck is that it has the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, attachments. So that's pretty sweet. Get this harvest done. I'm a new map, wop, bam, boom. All right. One swipe up, one swipe down. That should finish this barley field. Then we're going to whip out the mini baler. And then we're going to spend 148 grand on this uh, fancy New Holland automatic baler picker upper machine. Never used it, but I've heard last night that a few of you have and said it's pretty cool, so I'm excited to try that out. All right, while we're on this side of the field, let's go get that little patch I missed. swamp yeah I'm back was buffering it on my end oh okay uh, what's up Eric Bercy <laughs> I'm just joking Frosty you've actually helped me quite a bit with playing this game well you're welcome sir and I was just joking with you as well it sounds good for a while but it gets old and annoying real quick yeah scooty Annoying like a John Deere sitting in your front driveway, huh? What Uncle Billy say? That's what I sound like after the chili cheese fries. Ugh. Too much info, Mike. Too much info, Mike. stuff. Empty. Harvest completed. That's about six acres of fresh barley brought in. And uh, we'll get a full total of uh, amount once we get it in the silo. Give her a quick wash. Mm. All right, and then right back in the gee rodge.
Alice. Job well done, Alice. You did a good job. I love you. Bye-bye. All right. Get that closed. Ooh. We might actually... Let's leave this open. If we have time. I don't know if we'll get around to it, but we might whip the sprayer out and spray that new cotton field we, we bought. This has narrow tires on it, so it won't affect the crop at all. Because it was uh, horrible on nitrogen. I need to make sure I remember to do that. Let's do it. Let's do that real quick. Nah, we'll, we'll come back to that. Ah, we'll do it eventually. I will remember to spray my new cotton field. Because if I don't, the yield will be bad. Fill it up. That was a lot of barley. Good stuff. Where did you get that sprayer, Frosty? I don't flip it. No, my goodness. I can't remember what I had for breakfast. I don't know. I really like that harvester. Can you get it on console? Oh, my gosh. Brian, don't you ever ask stuff like that again. You know better. That is a PC mod only. Come on, bro. You know that. You know that. Thank you, Solar. Um, a JD sitting on my front lawn would be annoying as hex. I know. That's why I said it. I know. I know. Hello from Antarctica. Myrtle the turtle. Oh, stop. You ain't from Antarctica. All right, cool. Let's bring this stuff back to the house. Dang, 90%, another 591 bushels. So I think we got like 12 to 1300 bushels out of that field. That's a lot of barley. We'll have Simulation Station follow me back to the house. He's a good driver. I've seen his videos. He knows what he's doing. Uh, I like to kiss my gleaner goodnight as well, too. That's me? Yeah, see? I'm not the only one. You just got to sometimes. I don't know about you, chat, but that was very relaxing and enjoyable. And we got a lot more harvesting coming up probably on the next episode of this series. Uh, we'll have canola. I think a lot of the canola is going to be ready. So that'll be fun. I'm lost in the weeds. Yes. So all this is going into storage. This will pretty much help take care of our chickens for a year. And then I've got other wheat fields that are going to be ready. A lot of that will go to the grain mill. I just I messed up last the, the first year of this uh, farm. Put way too much towards production. I'm going to do it right this time. It's going to save us tons of money. I wasted so much money on buying bags of chicken feed and pig feed. Not this time. I'm going to do it right. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. So what's the silo saying we got? So we got 67,000 liters of soybean in storage. 25,000 liters of barley. And that's after topping off chicken coop and giving 10,000 liters to the pigs. That was like a 45,000 liters of barley we got out of the field total. Nice. Nice. Do 
All done with this tractor. Becoming one of my favorite tractors. Love that thing. Nothing cleaner than a long nose gleaner. <laughs> Holy cow, I made it on the watch hour, says Mac Morrison. Are you on the list? Where are you at? Mac Morrison. I don't see your name anywhere. What are you talking about? Oh, there you are. Ooh, you're you're on the top ten. 74.92 hours. <laughs> He made the top 10 list of watch hours. I wonder who got knocked out. It's, I guess we'll never know. I wonder who uh, you swapped places with. So Kevin Flores, or wait a minute. Yeah, Kevin Flores is the leader with 271 hours. Watchdog, 33, second place. Ian Oppenheim in third. Tony Martig, about 25 hours behind Ian scooter's workbench he's on the roll he's on the roll he's catching up to tony and then mouse m is on the top 10 duane baker john mckinley red acres and mac morrison wrapping up the top 10 for top watch hours yeah yeah baby yeah <laughs> oh, wow <laughs> all right <laughs> all right let me see here so so the chickens are good. We just filled them up with our uh, harvest we did. Uh, pigs, we gave them 10,000 liters of that barley harvest. So they're going to be looking better here soon. Don't worry about it. They'll be all right. They'll be all right. I got 40,000 liters of... I got slurry everywhere, guys. Man, it's dripping all over the place. Uh, cows are good. Horses, fine. Uncle Billy's cows... Very good. Doing well. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right. Time to uh, whip out the little baler here. Fire this bad boy up. So we're not going to do the entire field with this. Actually, let's do the headland. Let's do the headland with the vacuum. The forage wagon and ho we'll see how much it gives us on the, the perimeter lap because I'd like to get all that put into the feed mixer hopefully it gives us a good chunk <clears throat> we'll do tons So what you're trying to tell us is you're really full of it. Who is me? Uh, no wrench for us. Where's my wrench? You, you don't need no wrench. You got enough going on there trying to keep up with what I'm doing in the chat. Yeah, we don't we, we don't need an overload of moderators. Do Ann Baker, he's he's on it like white on rice. Red Acres, he's he's usually on it. Sometimes you have to yell at him, be like, "Rat, you gonna fix that or what?" Like, huh, huh, huh? Oh, got it, Frosty, got it. Yeah, we're completely out of straw in our feed mixer for the cows. I got I gotta get a good chunk of this in there. But it, but it, yeah. Elizabeth, how many points you got? Am I still number 10 in the top 10 list of watch hours? No. Was it, were you the one that was number 10? Not anymore. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. But here's what's going to happen. Watchdog is, is eventually going to be off the top of He's going to be gone. Because of his new job, he can't watch like he used to. He's here every night at the beginning for like the first... 20, 30 minutes of the show, and then he's got to go to bed. Elizabeth, you're here almost every night for the entire stream. So you get, you know, I'd say about a year from now, you're going to pass him up, and you'll be like top five, I bet. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You'll get back on the top 10. Don't you worry. Ba -ba -ba. 
as far as points go, Kevin Flores, no surprise there. Tony Martig, Mike Stiltz, Gary Snoddy, John Giblin, Carpenter Scott, Jay Smith, and Red Acres. Those are your top points leaders. That means uh, the people who usually give the most super chats. I don't know how it keeps track of gifted memberships, though. Because, like, Jacob Nukster, he's sent so many gifted memberships over the, you know, 2023. It seems like they don't account for that on Streamlabs that keeps track of all the stats or whatever. Because he, he would definitely be on that list. So it must not keep track of the gifted subs. Uh, compared to other streams, this one needs little moderation, I would say. This is a pretty well-behaved stream. I think it's because of the atmosphere. We're laid, we're pretty laid back. I don't know, you're right. It's weird because when I was on Facebook, it was, it was a different story. <laughs> there was, there was, there was trolls like on a daily basis. So, but it's so much better over here on YouTube. And even when we get a troll here, usually, like, one of the moderators, they'll just delete their comment a couple tries. And after a couple deleted comments, if they keep acting weird or whatever, then they'll get rid of them. But it, like, rarely happens. Which is nice. I'd rather keep members than have to get rid of them, of course. I want people to enjoy the content. It's not everybody's cup of tea. We all know that. There's people that come in here and like, What you doing that for? Why don't you be a real farmer? I don't understand. Why are you doing that? Why are you playing a game? I don't get it. I mean, you get those people every once in a while. Sometimes you can convert those people that don't understand why we're even doing this, live streaming it. They don't understand the whole community vibe where we're just chit-chatting, having a good time, chilling out. Once they get a little dose of that, like if they sit there and force themselves to watch it for a little bit, sometimes you get like a new subscriber out of it and they start watching every night because they feel the community vibes. Know what I mean? You can feel it. You can feel it in their bones. All right, let me see how much straw was just brought in. I can't, I don't know how to convert pounds to liters. <laughs> All right, so we just put 37,000 liters. That's definitely not enough. But you know what? That's going to be enough until the other fields get harvested. Because there's going to be other fields in the next month when we fast for, or the next month or two. But that's gonna be plenty for now. That makes sense? So the rest is gonna be all little bales, little straw bales. Sorry, I was talking like Kevin there for a minute. I apologize. Kinda gives you a headache, doesn't it? I'm sorry. Oh, man, Kevin's been saying some weird things about the Cowboys tonight. He hasn't been banned yet. True. It's a family show. Come on. It is. It is. I don't think I've ever had to ban anyone here on YouTube, says Stevenson. That's because Stearman beats you to it. <laughs> nah, you're right. There's Everybody's pretty much behaved. Eh, it's probably just a money. It's a family. I don't... Uh, scooter, no wrench. Alright, I got my little uh, John Deere fired up. This is the one that came out yesterday from Sleech Modding. And the only thing my little tractor here can handle is the weeder and this little baler. That's the only thing on the farm it can like handle horsepower wise. Let's unfold. I forgot to unfold. Alright. Gonna 
shoot them out into the air there. <clears throat> we do have a little wagon to pull behind, but you're about to see something cool, I hope, that's going to be fun to use. We're going to have a new baling technology after uh, we create some bales here. I just wish the hitbox on this thing was like twice the size. It's so hard to get a clean pickup. Shooting bales. Watch out. You're going to shoot your eye out. But Mom... Catch it, chap. Can you catch it for me? It's coming right at you. Just catch it. <laughs> it's kind of fun to watch them flying around, huh? Good entertainment, says Jim Petty. Well, I'm glad you enjoy the content, sir. This little JD's doing just fine pulling this little baby baler. I think you only need 50 horsepower to pull the baler, and the tractor only has 66 horsepower. So we've got 16 horsepower to spare. If you zoom in, look at that, look at that thing. Some good animations on this baler. too bad. You just got to be like perfectly straight. Otherwise you start missing spots. Realistically, if you use that stack cruiser to pick up the bales, you want the baler to drop them on their side, not flat. Well, that ain't going to work. Okay, so hopefully that thing will pick them up the way these are sitting or we're in trouble. Nah, if it doesn't work, we have an alternate trailer that picks all these up, I think, unless I sold it. Nah, I think I still have it. I think after this swipe, we'll, uh, we'll purchase the new toy and try it out. I'm too excited. I don't want to I don't want to bail the whole field. I want I want to get that new Holland. I want to buy it and see how it works. They definitely need a mod on here to set up moonshine operation. I, I'm sure there's a third-party production that does it. I wouldn't be surprised. Probably have to get it from, like, King Mod's website or something. Uh, it will work in FS. I'm more describe Oh, real-life usage. It wouldn't... Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I saw a video today, actually, of uh, one of those New Holland things, the way they unload. Pretty slick, man. Like, it pushes up a, a one row tilts it and then you hit another lever manually like the guy was standing outside of it and then it then it would push one bale at a time out to him to grab and then he put it on to a bale conveyor like at a barn and it sent the bale you know up to the attic of a barn that was a cool little video but it's pretty amazing what that that uh machine could do so not only did it pick up the bales and stack them nice, it also unloaded them individually. Like, it's hard to explain. You'd have to watch the video. It was good. Yeah. 
What do you think? This is about half the field done? Yeah, it's about 50% done, I'd say. That's good enough. Move this over here. <laughs> oh, buy it. We're about to go broke, though, a little bit. All right, so we're going to buy it. I'm paying cash for it. Ooh, should I lease it? Maybe I should lease it because maybe we won't like it. Yeah, I need to stop buying things and just lease it first to try it out. So that's going to be under bail loaders. Oh, 158 grand. My goodness. Wow. All right, we're going to lease it for 8000 a month. Nice. So that takes away 8000 right from the get-go. But if we end up liking it, we'll pay cash for it. Look at this thing. What the heck is that, chap? What do you think of that? Yeah. You like it, don't you? It's the new Holland Stack Cruiser 102. <laughs> ah, it looks so weird. I love it. I love it. All right. Hopefully she starts. All right, let's check the interior. I, I said no tinted windows, and it's still tinted. I wonder, uh, tinted must be crazy dark. All right, so here's the interior. Pretty simple, plain. We'll be in the exterior most of the time anyway. Right, let's see what all the options are on this bad boy. Lights. Blinkers. Horn. Wimpy horn, blinkers, reverse, forward. <laughs> oh my goodness. Be cool. You know, it'd be cool if it had a side camera. All right, operating position. Here we go. All right, I think it's set and ready to go. You just put that up and down. This is going to be... Uh, this will be interesting. All right, here we go. Let's start over here on this part of the field. That thing is wacky. Wacky tobacco. <laughs> All righty then. That picks it up easy. There's a little animation right there. It's skipping the part where it flips it up there, but it still looks pretty cool. So it picks it up, moves it into the pusher, and that, in real life, I guess that would flip it up over. And we can move at a pretty fast speed. <laughs> That is wild. This will take two hours. Oh, well, look how fast this thing's going. This will take like 10 minutes at the max. Look at that. It's got the first row done. So now it's, oh, that is cool. Okay, so once you get the first row out of the way, now it's gonna look even cooler because it's filling up this platform right here. Then it's gonna push it over and com compact it with the, the next row. Oh, me likey. That's pretty sweet. Always love uh, different stuff to try out. Yep. That's cool. Slow her down, Frosty. What do you think of that? <laughs> Unload it and reset it? 
Why do, why do I gotta do that? What's wrong with it? Something isn't right. That deck should be flat at this point. Huh? Unload the bales and reset that bales position, I mean. Set the yeah, see why I want to make the animations to work properly. It should load three bales first, then push them onto the first deck. Yeah. I figured it wouldn't be perfect. <laughs> but it's somewhat working. I like it. There we go. So there goes row number two we made. Now the platform drops again to load it up. Man, this thing must hold a crap load. We're at 32 bales and 16%. So it holds quite a bit. Yeah. Different, that's for sure. got a wide pickup I've noticed even if I'm not close to the bale it's still picking it up so that's nice all right there's row number three so we've made three rows now I like it you like it Cameron it's pretty cool isn't it something different it's fine now. I was gonna, yeah. So at the beginning, the the first the first row seems to be a little odd, but once it gets that first row put up in, you know, put it up in the back end, then it seems to look like it's working right. Let's try some interior view here. I don't like tinted windows, though. Man, I wish that wasn't like that. All right, there goes the next row. Pretty cool. Pretty slick. We've picked up 65 bales at this point. All right, that one I got a little too far away from. Different, that's for sure, huh? Holds, a, holds so much. That's awesome. <clears throat> we should get a full load out of it, though, by the time we do all the bales. A f like a full uh, pickup load worth. All these bales are going to go into Farmer Billy's attic. Uh, Pleasant View, his f cow barn he made. Uh, it only accepts the little baby bales. So that's where all these will be going. All right. We got that part cleaned up. So we'll get back to uh, baling here. Very nice. I lock it. Not too shabby. It holds like 190 bales. That's nice. Yeah, we got it almost 50% full. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty darn cool. Uh, Trebeat's walking alongside of a trailer, <laughs> throwing every bale up to the trailer to somebody else on the trailer. Old, yeah, I know. That's old school way there. 
I wonder when that uh, New Holland, I wonder when that was like designed, like when that was made, like created. Interesting machine. I ain't helping you throw them up there. I retired from Bound 13 years ago. It'll hurt your back. That's, that's, that's some hard work right there. Yeah, I helped out. I helped out once back when I was, I think I was 13. I'll never forget that either. Because it was a big joke. That's what it was. Spent all day loading up this big old trailer of bales. And then the darn farmer, on the way to the place where he was selling the bales, just uh, cooking in his truck. I mean, I was sitting in that seat. I was like, what are you doing? Like, we got a sharp left turn coming up here soon. And he just hammer down. He had the hammer down. He takes that turn, and that entire load tipped over. All the bales went into the side of the road onto the end of the ditch. And he was beat tired, which I understand, but so were we. <laughs> we just spent all day loading the trailer. And he just looks at us like, guess we got to load him back up. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> the sun was going down when it happened. I was like, you suck. I was so mad. Whoa. Hello, Ronnie. So that was my uh, bailing experience, handling bales. Oh man, yeah, that was frustrating. Hello, Diane Katz. How are you? I was throwing bales in the 90s, were you? Yeah, I only did it for one summer, and that was enough. I mean, I would have done it again, but. He never called back. <laughs> so I was like, I'll never do it again. For him, anyway. Uh, good. Hope all is well with you, Ronnie. What's up, Ice Dragon? We just rode on the trailer back to the barn, says Jim. Yeah, and if you don't like snakes like me, you don't want to... Ah, uh, yeah, snakes aren't fun either. It's not rare that when you grab a bale, you may just grab a snake as well. Or mice. I remember... Uh, the one farmer that lived next door to me when I was little. Um, Mennonites, I told you that whole story. But I used to play with their kids. We were like friends. And we'd play in the the bale barn where all the bales were. And all there was always like you'd see a, a, a mouse or two. You'd hear them and you'd see them scattering around the walls of the barn. They like hanging out in the straw bales and hay bales. Ugh. I think those were all straw bales. That was for all their straw bedding. Hey, Frosty, playing on UMRV right now. Have you tried this map? Oh, yeah. I did... Nah, I think I did like eight episodes of that. But, yeah, that's a very good map. Big scale farming, big mama fields. That's when uh, Gumby and Stevenson and Simulation Station, Pleasant View Farms, we we uh, we all kind of worked on that map together for a little bit when it first came out, when it was popular. Yeah, it's a good map. I love the uh, ethanol plant. That's my favorite production on that map. You can make ethanol pretty cool. Are we there yet? Two more swipes. Tractor's got some volume to it. I like it. Nice loud engine. Uh, Hay Barn's also doubled as a place to take a special lady in your life. 
Yes, we had. We had the outer bands of a hurricane that came in a few days ago, and it brought a ton of rain, and it was nice. You needed the rain, huh? I need to cut my grass. My actual yard. It's getting pretty gnarly looking, but my excuse is... The, uh, the head cap on my weed eater broke, and I can't stand mowing a yard without trimming. I, I, I gotta, I like trimming first. I trim all the edges, sidewalks, everything, and then I mow the grass. Because then the, gra the mower goes over all the clippings that might be in the yard and just looks neater. That's just the way I like to do it. Um, but the, the head cap broke. So I ain't cutting that grass until I get my little head cap I ordered from Amazon. And it ain't here yet. So my grass is going to keep getting long and gnarly until I get my, my weed eater head cap. Alright? I never had a barn girlfriend. Always wanted one, says Ian. <laughs> oh, man. Montana, we had to watch for rat rattlers. Ooh, rattlesnakes. Yeah, no fun there. I remember living in Arizona. I was little, little. I'm talking six, seven years old. I still remember my dad had like a souped up Toyota. It was like jacked up with the mud tires and he'd go, it was like Baja set up. And we'd go out to the desert and he'd do some off-roading just for fun. And we'd always stop and be able to easily find like a rattlesnake out in the desert. It was pretty cool to watch from a distance. And I remember the one neighbor growing up collected rattlesnake tails or the rattles, you know. So you know how some people have a, a jar full of candy? Like when you come to visit, you'll see it sitting on a table or something like, hey, I have a piece of candy. He had a big bowl full of rattlers from rattlesnakes. Pretty cool. They were cool to look at, too. He had, like, all kinds of them. Weird. Alright. We're all done bailing. There's a lot of bales sitting out there. <laughs> wow! Yeah, yeah. Good right now. Good right now, right now, man. I do see a little swath that's worth picking up. Watch out, Rex. That's worth picking up. See? Got one more bale out of there. Alright. Not too shabby. Let's fold this up. Little John Deere got the job done, man. What's the dog doing? He's just sniffing the bales, looking for uh, rattlesnakes. My granddad used it for his hat band, the rattlers. Got to watch out for rattlers in Oregon, too. Use zip tie on the weed eater. Use a zip tie? What do you mean? No, like the, the head, the bro, like a... It's completely gone. Like, I don't... I, yeah, I had to order one. The thing you bump, you know? It, like, completely demolished. Because I bumped it a little too much. You feel me? A little too much bumping. Uh, let's rearrange. He usually goes right here. He usually goes a little more like that. There you go. Nobody saw that. A nice little track.
I wish I could move equipment that easy. Yeah, it's not that hard. See, I showed you how to do it. Got to get a little muscle. Swing. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> All right, let's finish picking up these bales, man. With our fancy, weird stack machine. Nobody saw that. I hear nothing and see nothing. Seen what? The superpowers? Yes. Yes. Have you seen Montieth, Iowa and Tahiton County, Iowa by DR Modding? They look so good. They do look nice. They do look nice. I've been keeping an eye on it. Yes, Sir Re Bobby. Yeah, I think I'm subscri I'm subscribed to a lot of uh oops. to a lot of channels on the Facebook, like their uh, modders Facebook pages. That way it's easy for me to just turn notifications on so I can see any new mods that are coming out or things they're working on. That's how I try to keep up. This machine's cool. If I could remember who the heck it's made by, I would tell you. It's definitely a third-party mod, of course, PC only. Um, if anybody knows the modder and the name of his itch.io, that's where I got it from his itch.io page. Uh, feel free to let the chat know. That way everybody else can go try it out if they would like. Yeah, works good. We got 108 bales loaded up. We're only at 55%. It's like a street sweeper, only for picking up bales. I like it. What are we at? 114 bales? Goodness. All right. Oh, I have so many modders and groups I'm in, says Mac Morrison. I know. It's nice, though, because then you can keep up on the progress of a mod or when it's going to release and what all it's going to be capable of doing, configurations and whatnot. I like I like seeing all the progress on it. Watch out, dog. We got John Giblin, you maniac. John Giblin. Not one, but two big mama Australian super chats. First the 30.99 and then the 29.99. That's John Giblin, ladies and gentlemen, coming in hot with two big Australian scruple bombs. Thank you very much, John Giblin. You are appreciated. Oh. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you very much. I had to watch out for owls in the hay band. I love reading uh, your guys' comments when the, you jack them up. I do the same thing when I, like, text people. It, like, never types out the way I'm imagining it should be. And autocorrect, sometimes the auto spell makes it even worse. 
But I know what you're laying down, Brian Santor. I know what you're trying to say, Daddy. What's up, Justin the Baita? Just search for FS22 New Holland Stat Cruiser. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, Richard. What's up, Hatch? This is what a machine. Isn't that thing cool? <laughs> it's a real machine, too. Like, this is a real life way of picking up bales. I don't know how many farmers utilize it. I don't know how popular it is. I've never seen one in real life. I've seen videos of them, but never been driving down the road and seen a farmer using one of these. Seems pretty, uh, seems pretty cool, though. How's Hatch doing? Hope you're doing well there, sir. Yeah, this... I wonder how long this straw will last for uh, Pleasant View's farm. <clears throat> his barn, I mean. His cow barn. All right, next platform. We're at 77%. 152 bales. I think Scooty Pooty said it holds 190 total. So we're getting close to full capacity. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate you, man. It's by Keith. That's it. Keith edits. Once I knew once someone would say it, I'd know. It'd pop back in. Keith edits itch I O. Keith edits itch I O. That's where you can find this New Holland um, Bale Stacker Cruiser. Pretty darn cool. Yeah, that puts us at 84%, 165 bales. <clears throat> yeah, not a fan of first person view on this though. Much more fun to watch exterior. Got a nice uh, tight turn radius on it too. Is that the final swipe? The final bail swipe. Yep. <clears throat> Three more. Oh, you know what? I bet you it's only going to take one more bail. It's going to be full. These other ones will be leftovers. Oh, nope. I guess it'll pick up more. Well, be done. All right, we almost, almost got a full uh, trailer there. Look at that. 185 mini bales on this uh, about six, seven acre field. What is this? Yeah, 6.2 acres. Very nice. All right, let's uh, send them over here to Farmer Billy's barn. Cow barn over here. Frosty, does it take other sizes? No. It's made for the 120s only. <clears throat> Tornado warning in Ohio. I have to take cover. Get your butt inside. Hopefully everything goes well for you. Stay safe, Brandon. Be careful, brother. <clears throat> All right, so here's where we unload. And just for uh, role play purposes, let's pretend that there's like a bale chute conveyor. That's going to shoot them all up in here. Whip a nine nine. Wonder if it takes them right off the tr truck. That'd be sad. 
Okay, cool. So we do get to manually unload it. Alright, let's see here. Unload bales, why? Oh. Oh, body nice. 185 bales getting ready to be dropped in the zone. That's stinking cool. Look at that stack. Holy crap. And then we'll hit Y again. Very nice. What do you think of that machine? That's pretty fun. I enjoyed that. That was definitely worth 148 grand, eh? Actually, we leased it for eight grand. I think it's safe to say we should just buy it. I enjoyed that. All right, so now it should have them all stacked. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the Leaning Tower of Straw Bales. Wow. So you can fit 1,756 of these bales up in this attic. This is only the tip of the iceberg. This is only 185 out of 1,700. So this thing would probably be just packed full. All right, so this is what Pleasant View was saying. Now, if we want to spawn it down in the actual barnyard for straw bedding, we just click on this. I'm going to spawn... Yeah, we'll spawn 25 of them. What the heck? All right, where does it spawn them at? Right there. Cool. So we're going to go downstairs. And this is what I was... I was hoping... That's awesome. That's exactly what I was hoping it would be like. Get this thing shut off. So now we go run into the uh, cow, cow barn here. And the way he has the straw triggers set up, I love it. We can literally just role play. We can sit one in each bed area. Love it. And these bales you can pick up without strong arm because they're small. There you go. Drop one into each, uh, each pen there. You're wanting to get, you know. Chuck it in there if you want. But it's it's cool how it does that. <clears throat> Very nice. And the straw is going up. 4,400 liters. I forget how much straw this thing holds. There you go. It's going up slowly. So it is the long, uh, the longer way of doing it. But also a realistic way of doing it, I suppose. Wait, right, thanks, chat. Pretty cool. That Wilson trailer I was telling you about, I already shared it in the mod section yesterday. Oh, check it out. Man, it dropped like 20 degrees in the last hour here, and there's a nice cool breeze. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what a nice. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's a keeper mouse. You like it? I lock it. Yeah. So that's how I'll be... Uh, doing most of the straw bedding for this cow barn, not for the one over at our other farmyard. So, yep, yeah, see, we're already in the yellow. Doesn't take long at all. Feeling up. And if you really wanted to go beyond like once you do fill up the trough or fill up the bedding areas, then you could put one on each spot just for role play and you wouldn't have to throw down straw bedding for a long time. 
that makes any sense. There's the last one. Nice. Look at that. That put us up to 18,000 liters of straw. Straw is what keeps the uh, manure rolling in. Free fertilizer. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a keeper for sure. Uh, it's, it's a keeper. Yeah, we'll keep it. Let's just pay it off. We're going to buy this thing for 154 G's. <laughs> and then we're going to buy this truck. We're going to pay it off. Because I will be keeping that. I love that thing. Auto load. 84 grand. All right, Scooty Pooty. And anybody else that thought we were going to end the stream with tons of money, you're wrong. We're down to 40K. At one point, we were at how much, chat? I think we had 400. I think the max we were sitting at tonight was like something over $400,000. And now we're down to 40 grand. Never fails, chat. I always find a way to spend that money. Um, but it's money well invested. Okay? You know what I mean? So that is going to do it for tonight. I hope you did enjoy the show. Uh, hit that like button if you haven't. I know most of you have. I do appreciate that. We have over 200 reactions. I think Mac Morrison said 252 a little bit ago. So if you forgot, if you don't mind smacking it on the way out, that'll help me out. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. I had a good time. I always have a good time when we're farming. So uh, that's going to do it, chat. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Thanksgiving. And sweet dreams. All right. It's not. It's fun. It is fun. Frosty's accountant is pulling his hair out right now. Let's look at the account. That's cool. We can look at our finances. <laughs> All right. So here's our finances for June. Uh, look at this. Sold products tonight in the month of June. We made $393,000 on French fries, popcorn, and strawberry jam. And then we sold milk for thirty-eight grand. Uh, harvest income, 24 grand. What's that from? Harvest income? 24 grand harvest. What? I don't know what that means. And then miscellaneous 20 grand. I don't know what that is either. Uh, but we spent on new vehicles in the month of June $359,000. <laughs> then we bought that piece of land, that field, for $148,000, which I do. I I'll remember to spray that. Yeah, I'll remember. That'll need sprayed with fertilizer next time. Uh, vehicle leasing costs eight grand, which that'll disappear because we don't have anything leased out anymore. And then right here, we're only nine hundred thousand dollars in debt, so we're like a million dollars in debt. But don't think about that part. Just think about how we have some cool stuff on the farm. Okay, that's what you got to think about. All right. <laughs> All right, chat, I'm out of here. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll be back. Most likely we'll be here tomorrow night around 8.30 p.m. Eastern to so make sure you tune in. I don't know 100% what I'll be playing. It might be Farm Sim. I don't know for sure. But I uh, hope you tune in again. And uh, if not, then that's fine. Whatever. Okay, I understand. I understand. Uh, Frank Jones, Brian Santor, Diane Kurtz, Tony Knight, Frank Jones, Mac Morrison, Elizabeth Sturdy, Wiz, uh, Mouse M, Eric Bursey, Scooter's Workbench, everybody, Hatch, Abraham Mendez, Dustin Johnson, Tony Mortig. Thank you so much for hanging out, guys. The real Uncle Billy. Good night. Solar, peace out. Uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Have a splendid evening, a good morning tomorrow morning, and a good day. Have a good Friday. Okay? Okay. Catch you on the next one, chat. It's Big Rig Frosty Gaming signing off. I don't know why I made myself disappear. I apologize. I meant to uh, hit something else. My bad.
Have a good one, guys. Kevin Flores, thank you for the $5 Super Chat. Says, still live. Cowboys all the way. Don't forget to dunk on your son tomorrow. Okay. Cowboys all the way, huh? Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin and John Giblin and Kevin and Kevin and Mandy McKinley, Bradley Simmons. Thank you all for the uh, support to the channel tonight with those Super Chats. I do appreciate it. See you next time, folks. Good night. Goodbye!